couldn't escape across the border to the south. Shot multiple times. He barely makes it to safety. All of this caught on closed circuit television. Seen as Brian Todd is here. Oh, okay, I'm making sure it's on mute. All right, gentlemen, we are your friendly friendlitos. It's not the current topic. The current topic is I'm just going to send... Anyways, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on Table Talk Thursday, episode 33, Thanksgiving News. As we make some uh, live updates. I always make live updates. It's the only way to do that. Yep. So thank you for joining us on this special episode. As we all sit around with our families and joining <coughs> our turkey dinners As and we giving all sit thanks. around the table. This table that we, we ate can earlier. barely see. I mean, yeah. Yes. As, as Americans are out in force, convening on every superstore in their area, Walmart. ripping apart <coughs> stands, displays, and poor working associates who did not do anything to deserve what they had coming to You know, to our town's been pretty tame. I worked the last one, and like it was okay. By the way, known fact, all Walmart employees, every single one of them, has to work on Black Friday. All, no, like, which was weird, because we work, you know, I worked on the night crew, and I was like, yeah. just sitting there like that, and I'm like, I don't want to live it anymore. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. They need everybody on hand. Yeah, well, no, well nothing happened. Really, it's just, it's the easiest day no, for I, working. All you do is walk around and talk with all your friends. You don't fucking do anything. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some crazy shit happen at our Walmart where people just tear apart displays and the Walmart employees <clears throat> like, kind of like, stop! Please stop! It's not the right time! Don't do that! I've se- Well, I've seen, like, people just, like, grabbing stuff, but then, like, I walk around after all the stuff's done and, like, there's kids. always stuff left over. Of course. And I'm just like, Okay. I need to go get... Uh, <clears throat> after this, we're going to go, I guess. Do you want to go? Maybe? Yeah. No, okay. I want to go. Okay, well, then after this, we're going to go and we're going to look at things. And I'm going to buy another bed. Again. Probably. And I'm going to go see the aftermath and the chaos. Probably not much. My sister should be there taking I want more anyway, chaos. <coughs> we got off topic on our intro. I'm your host, <laughs> our brother, Mr. Warren, also known as David, and this is this guy over here. Co-host, Running Death, 909, also known as Kenneth, and thank you for joining us. Yes. Now then, let's jump right into it, because we are... This is going to be a very short episode. He says it's short. We have. It's going to be short. It's not going to be any of this three-hour bullshit this week. We never... I don't think we've done three hours in a while. Yeah, we have. Well... No, last couple weeks weren't. Well, the last two, Ever since we switched over to trying new things. Which, we're getting better. I guess. We've had no feedback from anybody, really. I think it's better. I mean, that's There's your feedback. Yeah, but apparently we don't count. Apparently not. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Mr. I've never seen anime, but you know what you should do with about anime? But you've never seen any of this. Kenneth, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand how far and wide anime goes. You don't, don't understand care. how Japanese the names get. Don't care. <laughs> I, as a viewer of non-anime origins, like to view random shit. I want you to cater to my whims. <laughs> Damn shit, I'm a paid subscriber. <laughs> Damn it. You know, I gave you money. That's what you must do things. Free money. Still money. <laughs> I get. I haven't seen any of it, so... You'll see it at the end of the year. Probably. <coughs> Maybe. Anyways, let's do this. Yep. Uh, so to start us off at the top of the hour, we're going to roll a video about the North Korean soldier... Oh, I thought you were going to read something, then we're going to roll the video. Well, we are, yeah. Okay, who go, defected go from first. North... Who defected from North Korea... Uh, let's see, the North Korean North Korea is believed to have replaced all of its border security guards following a North Korean soldier's recent defection to the south via a jointly controlled area at the tense border. A South Korean soldier was shot and wounded by his fellows on November 13th when he sought to cross the heavily guarded inter-Korean border to defect. The replacement seems to be a response to their failure to deter his escape. You are- Pretty much, yes. It's basically like, I wonder if they were shot. Probably not. Are you sure? Well, maybe some of the soldiers. Probably that one who crossed the border. Well, okay, he obviously got shot. No, 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 no. The, uh, the other North Korean soldier who wasn't a defector but tried to stop the defector, he crossed the border in a violation of the 1953 arms agreement. 
Armistice agreement. Arm, armistice. Yeah, armistice agreement. Yeah. Ah, and is he alive or did they capture him? He ran back across the border. I think I think North Korea might kill him. Why? Because he walked. Over because he crossed the border and he made. Because that agreement, which has been in effect, you know, for you know fifty plus yeah, years he now. Did it. He, he can spin it like, I did it to serve our country, and I'm gracious to Kim Jong-un. And Kim Jong-un might be like, promote it. No, nah, Kim Jong-un's like, you didn't stop the defector. You crossed the border, and you failed to do your job anyways. Death. Death. It's mostly your fault. It's all your fault. Pretty Imagine, much. Imagine, maybe let him get away. That's what he's going to say. Pretty much. I wanted to get some meat. Kind of hungry, but, eh. Just eat more cake. Uh, I've just been eating pie and cake since I got home, man. <laughs> Jeez. I made some lovely Oreo cream cheese cake, which I'm enjoying. It's tasty. Hmm. <laughs> well, what would you do, Mr. I buy store bought cakes? Um. I cook food. I don't bake. What is the difference? I bake. I don't cook. It's a thing. Well, because cooking, cooking takes real effort. I can cook foods, not just pies and cakes. Never made a pie, actually. Yeah, that's as far as I see too. I was like, mm. besides, I don't really like pie too much. I prefer cakes. I think I can agree with that. Yeah, especially. Cool. Like, well, what does a cheesecake count as? Does it count as a cake because it's got cake in them or does it count as a pie? No, it's a cake. Is it a cake? It is a cake. Yeah. <laughs> what makes the difference between a cake and a pie? Um, probably like. Probably like a pie has like an undercrust and usually it has like an, a, a crust above it, like a, even like a lattice form. So I imagine that's what distincts it as a pie. And usually has a filling. Um, usually like fruits or jams and things. Cheesecake, yes. cheesecake, is, cheesecake a is a filling. Yeah, cheesecake is a filling. But, but it doesn't have like a, a, it doesn't have a crust above it. And it doesn't have like a crust that like encircles it kind of thing. It has a base crust, of course. So... I think that's the distinction. Why do you this up in Jesus? Well, do so. Anyways, and here I am getting off topic talking about the difference between pies and cakes and such. But also North Korea. But also North Korea. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so this is actually a really interesting result that North Korea has changed all their border guards as a result of them failing to stop the defection. I wonder if that means they've like, changed all of them. Yeah, or just, the or just the ones between the first that checkpoint and the peace village. You all this honor. You bring this honor on the great we got. Yeah. No. I'm trying to see how to switch. Uh, that's the second. That's the one above. No, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's the wrong browser. Let me go. Shane, there we go. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this video. You have to watch this video. It looks like like a scene. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hurry up. I'm doing it. I'm trying. Make time go faster, damn it. <laughs> Slow mo this. Uh. It reminds me of that. Uh. Was it a Disney film where those kids they had that stopwatch and they could stop time? I don't know. Some of you described a bunch of fucking movies. Yeah, but I think it was called like Time Stoppers or something. Something I, stupid. I don't think it was that. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like fucking one of those like, kids' movies or whatever. This is like from like early 2000s. Time Splitters? The effects weren't super good. Huh? You say the effects weren't super good? Mm-hmm. 
in the movie. No, although that's an okay movie. That is a interesting movie. One of the most fascinating characters. Good movies. Great movie. That's like one of the only movies he's really a part of, except for Dude, Where's My Car? Like, the only two really movies I remember him from, honestly. He's been in a lot of movies. He doesn't play, like, lead roles most of the time. Which is the same thing. Alright. We're back. Now I get to watch people get shot at. A high speed chase, question mark. High speed on foot chase. Right from an action movie with bullets flying, a North Korean soldier okay, so makes a daring escape across, across the border, the border to the south. <laughs> Shot fell over. Multiple times, he barely makes it to safety. All of this caught on closed going. circuit television. Well, yeah. Tim Bry taught us here for uh, to break this down. I, 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 I can't believe it. it, no matter how many times I watch this. But, but, so, so tell our viewers how this, this went down. Okay. Okay, so Jim will pick it up here after he drives his Jeep into a ditch. At this point, he has already crossed past a North Korean checkpoint, a command post. He's driven past it. Soldiers have already come out. They're, they're aware of it. They've been running uh, toward him. Okay, we're going to pick up the video here. He's in a ditch. You're going to see him getting out of the he vehicle here. He's this stuck. is on November 13th, a week ago Monday. Now watch. He runs over this way. i got to pause it at just the right. Look at this. You've got North Korean... His fellow North Korean soldiers chasing after him here. They come right behind him. I mean, he, they're just feet they're, behind him. It's at that hard point. to yeah. know the depth, but it, it can't be more than 15 feet. Yeah. They, they are firing at him. He's running. How they don't kill him at that moment mm -hmm. is astounding. Okay, now watch. He, <laughs> he gets out of the frame. This soldier hits the ground, yeah. probably purposely, to steady his shot. He hits the ground. Yeah. At this point, yeah, look at this guy over here. Too. He comes in. Seemingly with a pistol. I mean, he look, levels look, it. Look, We're look not sure if he fires He's or like not. But if we come over, over here, you he can see wound. other North yep. Korean soldiers over here on the right. They're firing. Yeah, those, those are the, plumes of smoke. Those are They're clearly shots, firing. They 40 bullets fired times. at this guy, Jim, in these frantic seconds. Now watch. This North Korean soldier scrambles across the demarcation line, chasing after him. He's not supposed to do that. That's a violation of the armistice. Watch what he does. He gets about, I don't know, 15 feet across, doubles back. Now... I talked to General Spider Marks, uh -huh. who's commanded troops here. He says this guy isn't going back because he thinks, oh, I violated the armistice. Yeah. He's going back because he could be a target. He's realizing South Korean troops are on the way. He knows they're on the way, and they could be shooting at him. Mm. Now, so he's running for his right. life then at he's that point. He's running for yeah. his life then at this point. We're mm -hmm. going to then get to this other video. Astounding. Okay. Here. Now watch. You're going to see. Look at this. He's presumably already been shot. Look at him. He's bounding across. Full of adrenaline. That's with we think as yes. many as four bullets in him. Right at that now, time. this is on a loop, so it's just going to keep repeating. But look at this. He is hoofing it. He is getting across to the South Korean <laughs> side of the border. Look at that strides. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at those strides. It's just like <coughs> just having like been shot at least once. It's really got so much twice. momentum. He could we'll go to a still shot of him here. And he's lying in a heap by a retaining wall. He's already across the border. The doctor said he lost more than half of his blood, okay? Jesus. So God, then we're going to get to this heat-censored video here. I'm going to play so it These here. are the figures here because it detects the heat signature from their bodies. Heat signature and video. The these are two Korean South soldiers. Korean soldiers. What's interesting here, Jim, at this moment, look at that. Looks like one of them has got a gun leveled for cover as they crawl toward him. Look at this. They're going to pick him up. They're going to drag him back toward their side of the border. Now, he, they, this is technically on the South Korean side. But again, General Marks told me at this <coughs> moment, they are exposed to North His Koreans who have a line of sight and a line of I fire at them from over here. And the North Koreans could have easily fired more <coughs> shots. You would have had an escalation. They drag him back over here to safety. Could have started he is airlifted forward. out and then taken to a hospital. Again, the doctor saying he lost more than half of his blood. He took uh, at least five he shots, several of them, uh, let's say, the, the, the doctor said, in the uh, shoulder, in the abdomen, in the knee. The mm -hmm. one in the abdomen is the one bullet that stayed in his body. That caused the most damage, and the doctor later said when, uh, that one almost killed him, Jim. He lost more than half the blood in his body. He is lucky to be alive right now. They also found that for a man who's weighing 5'7", he was only weighing about 130 pounds. They found numerous uh, tapeworms and ringworms. Uh, in him mm -hmm. that denote the health of the North Koreans because the North Korean soldiers especially have access to what's generally thought of as good quality food for North Korea because they're the soldiers mm -hmm. but clearly this is showing that things are getting so dire in North Korea that not even the military is getting good foods um, 
they find that a procedure that they do a lot in a North Korea is for fertilizer, they use human waste. <clears throat> which is bad. <coughs> which they said is leading to a lot of these tape worms and parasites getting into the food supply. And if it's getting to the military, it means most people in North Korea it probably has gotten to. They were saying that one of the tape worms was nearly a foot long. Hmm. And he also said that he had a failing liver. Hmm. So, this guy was fucked six ways to Sunday already. I wonder why his liver was failing. Usually liver, fa- liver failure denotes some sort of terrible sickness or disease. Yeah, which doesn't surprise me because they don't have to leave North Koreans and North Korean people. Yeah. Anyways. <coughs> Paula. You want to cover this since you just briefly touched on the other one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, the U.S. calls Myanmar's move against the Rohingya ethnic cleansing. Which it is. Which it is. <coughs> as we've talked about many a time. Indeed. And that's actually recognized. By us. Yep. Uh, yeah. The United States on Wednesday called the Myanmar military operations against the Rohingya population ethnic cleansing, which is a big deal in international <coughs> waters. Which means the U.N. might actually have to step in and properly... The U.N.'s people. trying to step in. The Myanmar military is blocking them. But remember, the uh, the UN like half actively stepped in because remember yeah. originally they were just like <clears throat> told that everything was okay. And they were yeah. told to tell people everything was okay, something like that. Then they get paid off or something. Yeah, they well they had we they covered did, that they did, story. They did, yeah, everything is covered. They did a s- survey <clears throat> or a study of the conditions going on in Rohingya mm-hmm. um, population about uh, food and health, sanitary conditions, and such. They found that a good majority of the uh, Romanian children were starving. Oh, there's a cat roaming about. I don't know what they're doing. Oh. And normally I don't leave the door open. Interesting. She's sticking to the walls. Yeah, because she's... And now she sees that we've seen her. Yeah, she's scared. I told you, she's a very scared cat. Yeah. Rhea! Rhea cat! <clears throat> Meh. Anyways. Uh, the situation in the North Rak- Rakhine State constitutes ethnic cleansing against the Rohingya. Said Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, using a term he avoided when visiting Myanmar, also known as Burma, last week. Uh, the U.S. will also pursue accountability through U.S. law, including possible targeted sanctions. Bravo. <laughs> Golf clap, United States. You're actually doing something right for once. Although this is all possibly, and we'll try <coughs> to do these things. But, um... Yeah, no, they, they definitely need to put some severe and immediate sanctions on Myanmar until they stop with this ethnic cleansing and genocide of the Rohingya people. Yeah, <clears throat> most definitely. Uh, for those who may not know, Burma, or Myanmar, is a Buddhist-majority <coughs> nation, and the Rohingyans are all Muslim. Mm-hmm. Uh, which they say is also a major running factor in this strife. I mean, the biggest factor between anything, you know, a lot of the original wars that predate existence were religion-based. Yeah, the division of religion is bad things. <clears throat> this is why we here on this talk show are not religious. Because we're not going to want to get any wars? Because my religion's better than yours, and that's the end of the story. Well, obviously mine is better. Yeah, exactly. See? <clears throat> but no, just because, like, me, I feel like religion is a, a, one of the roots of a lot of the world's problems. <coughs> Other one is money. Money is the root of all evil, and religion is the root of some of the world's problems, easily. I'm just thinking about things. Huh? What? You say you were thinking about things? Yeah. Think about how to make the cheesecake lighter. Lighter? Mm-hmm. Like... Like less dense, but it still takes up the same amount of volume. Mm. So it's a bit of a so it's a lighter cheesecake. Mm. I gotta look ahead. I thought that. you were talking about like fucking sugar free or something. I was like, what is wrong with you? Oh god, no. yeah. Sugar stays. I mean, the thing's made with Oreos. <laughs> sugar free Oreos? Question mark. I think they have those. Yeah, I wouldn't make it that. So they, they probably all taste terrible. I mean, it's probably just using like aspartame nice. anyways, or one of the yeah. other multiple sugar free <coughs> alternatives. No, it isn't. 
It is. Take so it on away. to the next story. Vladimir Putin says all big Russian businesses should be ready for war production. Oh, I mean, look at that yeah. tagline. Uh, Our army and navy need to have the very best equipment. Better than foreign equipment. No, well, that's not going to happen. No, this is worrying. <coughs> this is very worrying. I'm not worried. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. We just said we didn't want to get divorced. I, this I is practically a religious war. Is it? A, I don't think this is religion. Between the, the Russian ideology versus Ameri- the imperialist capitalist West. <coughs> I mean, versus I don't think that's the, religion, uh, but... It's just... It's an ideology. Not as well. It's close enough to a religion. So maybe I should become an Americanist. I don't know. What would you even call that? If America... America first. Huh? America first? Yeah. First American... Which is ironic because... Um, the Dr. first American... Dr. Seuss actually um, wrote a bunch of uh, little Did comics it? and pictures, Dr. Seuss. He drew and authored a bunch of uh, little comics and things. Uh, because during World War One and Two, Hello, um, a lot of people were, were like America first. We didn't want to get into this war, <clears throat> and he actually wrote a bunch of comics and things to try and prompt the American people to go to war to save the rest of our allies. Essentially, it's actually pretty interesting. Anyways, continue on. <coughs> war were declared. I don't know. As we were talking earlier about jobs. I think I will start a new company and become a new defense contractor. Basically, I need to go get that job with Lockheed Martin. No. Lockheed Martin, hire me. I'm going to do it myself. We're going to make our... We're going to make our own PMC. We're going to go provide oh paramilitary IT services. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I'll shoot everybody and also do IT work. <clears throat> you can just do computers. But we'll get like... Protect my ass, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll get really... I'm just going to be... I'm just going to be in there behind the Humvee with the pistol. <coughs> just... <laughs> just not even seeing where I'm shooting, just shooting. And then, like, Kenneth's gonna accidentally hit somebody, like, it's a friendly. Kenneth, you just shot a friendly. He's like, he was dead anyways, keep going! <coughs> no. But it's just like, you know, you just. You focus on mostly IT stuff. I'll do IT stuff too, but also focus on keeping everybody alive. And by everybody, probably just the two of us. We that can works. make so much money doing that. Dude, the hazard pay we could get. <laughs> the 75, like 45,000 to 75,000 just for going over there for like two weeks. It is That's a, a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I've heard plenty from a guy who worked at BAE. Then for people go over there and they're like, oh yeah, we made a quarter million dollars in like three months. <clears throat> yeah. But you know, every you'll you'll hear like all sorts of alarms going off. Yes, depending on That's how what active said. it is. Is that they were at a military base? And it's like, oh yeah, when they heard a, an alarm, a siren going off, or whatever. Hit the deck. Yeah, they had to go hit the deck or run to the nearest safety shelter or whatever. Yeah, and make sure to always wear your brown pants. <laughs> That's basically. all the issue. Oh well, yeah, it's all oh, what is it, desert tan or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, it is. <laughs> Russian business should be prepared to switch to production. To military needs at any time, said Vladimir Putin on Wednesday. The Russian president was speaking at a conference for, of military leaders in Sochi. The ability of our economy to increase military... Yeah, that's what, I thought, that's what I thought it was. If you scroll up to that upper picture, <coughs> mm-hmm. um, you see he's meeting with Assad. Serious I Assad. thought that was Assad. This guy right here? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's the uh, dictator in charge of Syria, <coughs> who we've been trying to kill. Have you been trying or, to kill Assad? Well, we've been trying to remove him from power peacefully, quote-unquote. Well, yeah. Well, uh, in the past, Americans' peaceful removal of somebody is killing. sending the CIA in and installing a Shia, or installing a Sheik or something, installing some random person. And then uh, we lose control of the country. I don't think they've ever installed a Sikh. Was was Osama a Sikh? No, 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 no a, a Sheik. Oh, a Sheik. I, I like no, no, they've definitely never they installed can't. a Sikh. Like, if they did, Sikh there might have actually nice. been peace. <coughs> exactly. And then they wouldn't listen to America. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the ability to increase military production and services at a given time is one of the most important aspects of military security, Mr. Putin said. To this end, all strategic and simply large-scale enterprises should be ready, regardless of ownership. See, isn't this thing terrifying that he's talking about this? Kind of. Publicly? <laughs> he's basically telling all she just the industry really. to uh, prepare for war. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I would say that you could say, you know, all of America industry, we could tell them that, except the American industry is always pumping out war, mm-hmm. like, materials. <clears throat> I mean, what is that, multiple anchor, a- acres of tanks that just sit there and do nothing? Yep. I mean, 
I mean, and they keep producing more. <coughs> yep. Hey, hello. Welcome to the stream, Top Chicago 28. How you doing, buddy? Hello. Uh, anyway, a day later, the president had spoken of a need to catch up and overtake the Western military technology. Ah! As if the Russia would ever do that. Our army and navy need to have the very best equipment. Better than foreign equivalents, he said. If we want to win, we have to be better. Exactly. Well, the, their navy's war. never going to match ours, I don't think. We never. just have too many ships and too many um, military mm -hmm. things in the water. Yep. And uh, they will never win. Nope. Not by water. Mm, their, their air... Their air force is kept up to date, though, with ours, as far as I know. Like the... Uh, the SU, I don't know what number they're on now. But anyway, the Russian Air Force has some really nice high-tech fighters. Wow. Still our probably F30, not as good well, as our F-35 is a fucking joke comparatively. Well, I'm going to go work on that. <laughs> well, on the systems that manage that. Yeah. <clears throat> and happy Thanksgiving to you, my yes. friend. But yeah. I'm not sure about Russian tanks either. I think Russian tanks still rank lower than the American. Probably not. Um, it's still well, very concerning. No, it's very concerning, but... I mean, like, as you said, I mean, America, we never stop producing more weapons of war. No. Ever. We never stop I guess, that, I guess that's a good We point. never stop producing. We never stop anything. But yeah. as you said, you know, their economy can't handle anything. No, their economy's in the toilet. They, they, there's no way they could get the money, supplies, and resources necessary to do this. Oh. Um, Rhea Cat. Yeah, she's been roaming around here. Yeah. I know, I see that. Yeah, she's running away. Yeah, whatever. So, I mean, I, I'd be surprised if Russia could do this. Nope. But, I mean, that's basically it. Yeah, they're ramping, they're gonna, I guess, attempt to ramp up productions. Mm -hmm. Um, But, I, I don't know how well it's gonna go over for them, seeing as, like he says, they're coming in the toilet. I'm not sure if they have the resources either. But we'll see. Yeah. It's just scary, as he says, because, like, it means, you know, maybe they're getting ready for a war with us, or probably. We're probably the only people they would want to go to war with. I mean, they're, we're, the, we're the... I mean, that's... Everything we're doing, it's all subtle Cold War aspects. <laughs> subtle. Yes. Air quotes on subtle. Very, yeah. very subtle. I mean, everybody who's anybody who has eyes can see that Russia and the, and the United States has never stopped their Cold War. <laughs> yeah, we've just been in pissing matches forever. Yep. And ever, and ever. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> but uh, moving on from Us Russia. Up the weapon. Uh, what do you mean? U.S. up the weapon? What you what, 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 what? Yes. <coughs> no idea what that means. No, no, but yes, all the all the weapons. <laughs> all the weapons. Uh, but in this case, Saudi Arabia has arrested the second richest man in the kingdom. <laughs> uh, Saudi authorities have have arrested Mohammed. Hussein al Almaldi, a dual national with Saudi and Ethiopian citizenship, and reportedly the second richest Saudi after Prince Al Walid bin Talal, who we reported last week, was also arrested. They arrested everybody up in here. Hajj kids. Hajj this, is, this is going to be a problem for the economy of Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia in this case. I mean, considering not only are they arresting these the richest people in Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia. In this case, but also, you know, that these people literally control some global economies in their hands. <clears throat> yep. You know, if they freeze their assets or take their assets or whatever, it's going to be devastating for some economies. Um, which is what they're worried about with Al Moody, Al Moody getting arrested. Uh, Al Moody is also known as the Sheik has invested in almost every sector of Ethiopia's economy, including hotels, agriculture, and astrology. And they do mean astrology and not astronomy. So astrology as in, like... As in the stars align and you are of the year of whatever the fuck and in the 32nd moon of the house of Venus or whatever. Interesting. <clears throat> I believe it. It is all true. Uh, in nearly... Ten years since the last time the survey was done, which was in 2004, uh, it's become harder to estimate Al Moody's total investments in Ethiopia, which is among the fast, fastest developing countries in Africa. Which is surprising. When you think of Ethiopia, you don't think of much. No. But apparently this man's investing so much money into Ethiopia. He's also one of the largest employers in all Ethiopia. 
Interesting. I mean, it's just like when I think about Saudi Arabia. I don't think of anything decent other than the fact that a lot of really rich motherfuckers live there. <clears throat> Horribly rich. Yeah. Disgustingly rich. You know, so rich that their town has, what is it, a bunch of Maseratis or whatever? Yes. The police force? Was it yes. Ma- is it Maseratis or is it something else? Is it Ferraris? Maserati, Ferraris Lamborghinis? and Lamborghinis. It's Both. Lamborghinis, yeah. Ferraris and Lamborghinis. <coughs> yeah. They have to have supercars to keep up with the other supercars. Yep. Because everybody there drives a fucking supercar. Pretty much. I mean, they hell, hell, they have one of the world's largest indoor malls with a ski slope. That's pretty cool. I think that's been done somewhere else before, though. There's yeah, but, this, but the scale that they did in Saudi Arabia is the largest. <laughs> yeah, and then don't they have the tallest They're going to build an entire indoor city. Aren't they building the tallest building in the world over there? They already have. It's oh, yeah, that's what I thought. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be an entire city built indoors in Saudi Arabia. Interesting. <clears throat> and it's going to be crazy. I want to build, I want to just live on They're a They're going to actually simulate day and night cycles, too. And then all of a sudden you're going to realize that underground they've been working on it for years and it's just going to be a giant space colonization ship. vault tech anyone? Huh? vault tech anyone? No. <laughs> <coughs> uh, no, but at one estimate, uh, they represent the value of the Sheik's investment at $3.4 billion, which is 5% of Ethiopia's current GDP. Jeez. And that was ten years ago. His investments probably would have increased at least double or triple than then. Probably. Considering how much. Another said his company employs about 100,000 people, which represents 14% of the entire private sector uh, in 2013. However, <coughs> the World Bank uh, estimates that these figures would have markedly increased, probably to the tune of you know 50 to 100% more. Jeez. So, he's employing about 20% of all private sector employees, he has he's invested more than five to ten percent of the entire GDP of Ethiopia. This man, who's so closely tied with this African nation, if they freeze his assets or whatever and take his companies, they're going to destroy Ethiopia. Yep, that would be interesting. Interestingly terrible. Yes, it's going to be devastating for them. <clears throat> Well, we'll see what happens. Police, the Ethiopian Prime searching. Minister is stepping in and trying to stop this horrible thing from happening. Who knows if he'll succeed, considering how wealthy Saudi Arabia is. They're probably like, we're going to take all of his assets every single last time he has. Welcome. And Ethiopia is now going to be little Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> That's interesting. <coughs> this little tagline right here. Is that, I don't know if that's... I assume that's not... Uh... I assume that's not uh, related to the Aji Pai thing. No. That's interesting. Yeah. But I guess, well, and that's just CBS saying that, so it is... Hmm. Are you about to look into that? Because that, I guess, is a new developing story. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they have a dispute. Really? So Dish is actually dropping CBS now? Yes, I so. don't know how they can do that. Like Look, CBS is one of the biggest broadcasting networks. They can do that if they like. I mean, nothing's stopping them. I mean, all of these networks make deals with these cable companies and whatever mm-hmm. satellite companies in Dish's case. And I mean, they all have to agree and license. You know, Dish and CBS are both buying their you know themes from each other. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, no, it's pretty interesting. So, breaking news, everybody. Uh, Dish TV, Dish Network is potentially dropping CBS and is already stopping all CBS broadcasting. So, which apparently means no NFL, no SEC football, and no NCIS or Big Bang Theory. The CBS, the CBS one of the only people that fucking shows football? Probably not. The, probably not because Fox shows it, but I think they're a main one. They are one of the main ones. Well, normally, when football season is going on, you know, there's multiple different football games. You can yeah, like all two, the channels. 11, 13. Yeah. Well, over here, it's 2 11, Over 13, here, yes. Which is CBS. Which is CBS, ABC. ABC. N- uh, NBC. NBC, yeah. And, of course, Fox. Yeah, and Fox, yes. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyways, but that's pretty damn interesting. That is actually interesting. Anyway, no, carry, carry on. Anyways, back to... Uh, this is your story, Oh, okay, we're going. Cool. I didn't know you were continuing on. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's going to be a devastated video. Yeah, we'll be Shall interested to see what happens. Shall we watch the video? Roll the video. Alright, then. Uh, 
It's uh, for at least two suspects after three others are shot in a school parking lot. Thanks for joining us this Thanksgiving. I'm Karen Lee. The shooting happened earlier this afternoon at Manuel High School near 22nd, 26th and Humboldt. Sean Chitness was. <clears throat> Mad Quail High School? He's <laughs> in Colorado, though. Quick to arrive there tonight. And Sean, what have we learned about the people that were shot? Well, Karen, it was a woman and two boys. Yeah, we don't know their age, but they were inside a car in the parking lot in between those two buses. The suspects approached them and started shooting. Then police say the suspects ran off heading this way east of the high school, and police are still looking for those suspects tonight. Wow. We didn't hear nothing of no fights or no commotion or anything. All of a sudden, it was just bang, 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 bang. Just out of nowhere. Just after noon, oh, Denver showcase. police were in yeah. the parking lot of Manuel High School after multiple. The showcasing was like a. Is there a 45 or like a 357? That was a huge ass showcasing they just showed. I don't know if that's like stock footage or if that was the footage from pictures, but. Full report. Big ass showcasing. Scene. There were several <clears throat> people near the scene playing football, a Thanksgiving Day tradition. We do it every year. It's just crazy. Police say a woman and two boys were inside this car when the suspects came up to them and started shooting. They were the, the shooters that were not running down the street or out of the parking lot. Witnesses saw them leave the scene. Police believe they ran away heading east of the high school. We do not believe the public's at risk at, at this point. If that should change, we'll certainly let you know. But right now, we believe this was an isolated incident between our victims and our suspects. Neighbors were shocked to learn about a shooting right by the school, especially on Thanksgiving. Police don't think the victims or suspects were students, but can't say why they See, were in the okay, parking lot. A big. holiday like this mm -hmm. is family time, you know? Everybody's supposed to be together as one and all, and then for something like this to transpire, it's just crazy. So the victims, an adult woman, and then two boys, we don't know their age, they were all transported to the hospital, haven't gotten an update on their condition. The suspects, two, possibly three suspects, police looking for, were told one, a partial description, wearing either a green or white shirt, and then the other suspect wearing a white sweatshirt. Live in Denver tonight. Well then, <clears throat> yeah, Tedly shooting in Denver. That's mm -hmm. pretty bad shit, especially on Thanksgiving, man. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. I'm still kind of perplexed by those shell cases, though. Those, are like, <clears throat> they're ridiculously huge. They even look like possibly like 50 cal Beowulf shell cases. I don't know. That's a big ass shell casing, so that's for sure. <clears throat> Very interesting to see. It's a tragedy that it happened on Thanksgiving. I mean, what the fuck? Go have dinner with your family. Or your poor gangbanger ass self. You don't have family fucking. Go, go, go have dinner with your gang banging family. I mean, like, that's the whole thing about gangs. The reason why gangs target these people, like, gang is supposed to be like family. It's a thing's trying to mm -hmm. That's why we're a family, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> you would definitely learn that if we ever, like, like I said, you know, if, you, if I could ever start a PMC and actually go into uh, war zones and make good money, you would get the family vibe real damn quick. Like, hey, cousin! <laughs> Guys, let's go bowling. <laughs> uh, then, then maybe Kenneth might be interested in playing all of those first-person shooter games. Probably not. Kenneth will probably have hardcore PTSD, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm just like the whole time. He's just like I'm already broken. Pretty much. Uh, Oakland County Sheriff del driver deliberately ran down a deputy, killing him. Jeez, that's like. The second thing, uh, the second time of, as of recently, some sheriff was killed. Did you know about the sheriff that was killed over here near Bay City? No, what happened? Or maybe I had, but I don't remember. Uh, I think last week, a deputy was shot, not in Bay City, but at Cedar Lake, <clears throat> going out towards Sergeant, basically mm -hmm. where I hit the hog at. Um, dude was responding to a call and got shot, and then the Texas Rangers are investigating it. Hmm. Pretty hardcore. Not sure exactly what happened. <clears throat> I wonder why the Rangers are investigating it. Huh? You said I wonder why the Texas Rangers are investigating it. <laughs> That's a good question. And before, yeah, there may or may not have been a terrorist cell in Mary guys in Texas. I mean, I guess if it's not under anybody's jurisdiction. Uh, I mean, it's under some sheriff's counties. But it's our, it's our county. Yeah. But, you know, they called somebody else. I don't know. 
<clears throat> I don't even. The Texas Rangers are like a separate force. They're not even a police yeah. force. They're like a semi investigative paramilitary force. force. I think. No, they're they're military. <clears throat> it's gonna bring up the Texas Rangers baseball. <laughs> Texas Ranger Division is a branch of the law enforcement agency with statewide jurisdiction based in Austin. Of course. They they have investigated crimes ranging from murder to political corruption, acted in riot, in riot control, and as detectives, protected by the governor of Texas, tracking down fugitives, and function as a paramilitary force ah. at the service of both the Republic of Texas and the state of Texas. <clears throat> it was created by Stephen F. Austin... In a call to arms. Uh, so apparently they're an investigative service. Yeah, they're, law enforcement a weird, it, they're a weird non-like police force that is also a police so force. It sounds days. like they have their own. So they consist of conducting criminal and special investigations, apprehending felons, suppressing major disturbances, protection of life and property, rendering, assist- rendering assistance to local law enforcement agencies in suppressing crime and violence, and apparently gathering and dissemination of criminal intelligence. Of organized crime in Texas, goddamn interesting. So, but, but so, they're, so long they're like, story short, is they're basically they're like, NCI, extra they're, they're like NCIS. <clears throat> I'm not exactly familiar with what the NCIS is. I mean, it's I basically the, the Navy's the Navy's investigative service. Mm-hmm. So they have you know they have weapons and weapons training and they're law enforcement, but they do investigations <coughs> on well, shit that own, happens in the Navy. They're their own law enforcement. Yeah, but they, they like investigate what shit that happens with the Navy. Yeah. But instead they, they're paramilitary. Rangers have like interesting training. They have military training basically. Most of them have military background, I believe, as well. Hmm. Yeah. I mean there's there the whole T V series, Walker, Texas Ranger, with our boy uh what's his <laughs> name? The most badass person in the world. Uh Chuck Norris. I couldn't remember his name. Anyways. Uh, an Oakland County Sheriff deputy who was struck and killed early Thanksgiving morning by a fling suspect was known for his kindness and his work with the youth. Or with youth. The damn youth of America. Uh, Eric Overall, yes, actual last name, 50, was deploying stop sticks on a highway in Brandon Township in an effort to stop a police pursuit when the, 22, when the driver, a 22-year-old, uh, Macomb Township man deliberately ran him down according to the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Was this dude the person in the pursuit? Yeah, when the driver. Yes, the so, driver. So the well, driver, so Eric overall was attempting to, to deploy stop sticks to stop the driver. I don't even know what the fuck stop sticks are. Could have been like a spike strip maybe. Maybe. Well, I feel like it's an alternative. I guess so. But yeah. Um, and and the guy's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. nah, I'm not going to hit those stop sticks. I'm just going to go run over the guy. It's like, yeah. I'll take a murder charge over getting caught. I mean, have you ever played Need for Speed? You drive to the sides. You don't get hit by the stop. You know, I mean, if the person... Well, no, those hit- things can reach across a freaking <clears throat> solid highway. Yeah. But you got to be deployed for some side. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I thought it was just like, dude just got run over out of the blue. I mean, no. hey... I, I mean, he's doing his job. He served his duty. I can't really feel bad for the way it happened. I mean, it's tragic. It happened Thanksgiving morning. The poor man was just out there trying to get some extra hours. Stopping a twenty-two-year-old. Yeah, but like I said, he you know he got hit by a car doing his job. He served his. City. He was recently married. Well, now she's going to get recently whatever death benefits he gets. Probably not much. I mean, it's it's like who I don't know. It's just like I guess, I guess nobody's thinking about it at the time. No. You know, it's just like I'm running from the cops. Oh no, they're trying to stab me. Oh, <coughs> I run down the police officer trying to stop me, and I kill him and murder charge. Bam. Yeah, but you don't think about that whenever you're running from. I know. And also, you're thinking about trying to get out of the situation, and the easiest way out is well, like I said, the guy deploying the strips. You know, is the weak spot in the strips. It doesn't pull up your really. tires if you hit him. Well, because, well, I mean, if the strips are deployed... It depends stands, on how he, far the guy is, like, in the middle of the road. Some some well, of the strips are really long, but some of them are, like, yeah. only a couple of lanes. Like, you could still swerve around it. I mean, that's the thing. Like, it depends on how you're going at him. Because if you're going at him head-on, 
you know, those strips are like right there, and he has like a loop on his arms. So he can like jerk back the strips after the person passes over them, so it doesn't capture the cops. Mm-hmm. And you know, they're trained on doing that, just deploying them and then jerking them back really quickly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this doesn't make sense. Um, actually, apparently, the after the crash, the suspect flipped his car. So, he still didn't get away anyways. Yep. Ran down and killed a man, and then flipped his car in that process. Hey man, he's already breaking law. I don't even from police. He's already getting jail time. Yeah, but now he's got his murder charge on him. I, like I said, I don't know. It happens. Well, like I said, I would have felt bad if the guy just got ran over for no reason. <clears throat> he served, you know, he died in the line of duty... You know, yeah, but nobody city. expects to be killed, I guess, with stop sticks. I suppose not. Well, that's incorrect. Every day you live as a police officer, you have to be ready to die, technically. Well, to stop your death. Huh? I said to stop your death. To stop your death? Yeah. No. You have to be prepared to die. <clears throat> Every day on the force, no matter how menial, if you're wearing a badge and you're wearing the uniform... Somebody will just shoot you just because they don't like police officers. Even if you're just a desk jockey. I mean, there's a potential. Yeah. Copies <clears throat> a dot point. Cops need to be prepared if they die. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not saying they need to be prepared if they die. I'm saying that any time you go to work as a police officer, you have to be prepared that you live yeah, you in unexpectedly. I mean, just yeah. because you are a police officer. I mean, and because yeah, there are certain kind of groups of people, gangs mainly, yeah. or just people that like don't like the police, that will just run out and fucking execution style shoot you in the back of the head. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not saying that. Of course, every cop wears a pacemaker. No, pacemaker's only there to fucking regulate keep your, beat heart your heart beating. It, well, it's to regulate the beat. <clears throat> yeah. Because your heart will beat without it, but it'll beat it regularly. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it, it also jumpstarts your heart if you flat wide, too. Some of them do. Yeah. But, I mean, they only have enough for, like, a charge. If you get shot in the head, there's no jump starting your heart. It's going <laughs> to fucking keep you alive. Yeah. It's just going to spurt the blood through that hole in your skull. And it's next. Yep. <clears throat> Come on, then. Gotta, gotta keep these running. Silence, nerd. <clears throat> Police commissioner... Slain Baltimore detective was to testify in case of indicted officers. Ooh, mm-hmm. spicy topic here. I love these conspiracy level topics. It, they get my dick hard. Anyway, so chop huh? generously in the story. Chop generously. <clears throat> Slain Baltimore homicide detective Sean, Sean Suter, that name though, was scheduled to testify before a federal grand jury in the case against a squad of indicted officers on the day after he was shot. Baltimore Police God damn. If, that, if that's not convenient. <coughs> yeah. Baltimore Police Commissioner Kevin Davis said with the evening, the violation of these uh, two cases that have sent shockwaves to the police department and the city as a whole. The federal prosecutors of eight members of the department's elite gun task force were accused of shaking down citizens and conspiring with drug dealers in the killing of Souter last week in West Baltimore. I believe it. They the did first it. of an off-duty officer... By a suspect in 10 years. I believe this it. I the believe they killed we're him. talking about Baltimore. Baltimore City Baltimore is just falling is corrupt fucking, yeah. as fuck. Definitely. Because, like, this and this where most of the body cam footage was leaked. Yes, like, where they were planting drugs. Where they were planting evidence. Yeah, I believe so. <clears throat> so, like, Baltimore's police department is fucked. It's like in the movies whenever there's, like, you know, most of those people that have corrupt police officers in their, in their units and shit are in, like, New York or something like that. Mm-hmm. And, like... That shit's kind of real. You don't want it to be real, but people, you know, underhanded outside sources giving you money and doing things. Oh, yeah, there's some dirty-ass cops out there. There's dirty cops in Bay City, even. Fuck. Yeah, that doesn't surprise so, me. There's but dirty yeah. cops everywhere. Like, the fuck is wrong with these people? Do they think they're going to get away with it? It just makes them all the more suspicious. Huh, right before he was supposed to uh, uh, testify against us, he was tragically killed. Who could have seen that coming? It'll be a fountain. You're with Kenneth on what? I have some information about that. <clears throat> anyway. You know, you would have think they would have had this guy under, like, intense protection. Well, even if they did. If one of the people protecting him was protecting him. Yeah, if one of the people protecting him was corrupt. Or both yeah. of them. Or both, however many 
we're assigned to protect. And see what's what's part of what's funny and part of the problem. Well, it's not funny, but it's a problem. Is that like this <clears throat> this level of like conspiracy sketch, like weird shit, which happens all the time in real life, could be so f- deep rooted. It could be up at the highest levels. <clears throat> I mean. Where these same people, these commissioners and shit come out, oh, there is no incriminating body camera footage, like, and they have the footage and everything. Because, mm-hmm. <clears throat> like I said, these are the people that have come out and said, there's nothing, nobody's planted out of it, we were investigating the issue, we found nothing. You know, they keep saying that, even though, like, it's clear that there's fucking, uh, just plain as day, video of them planting evidence. So, it is. It's costing me that way. <clears throat> anyway, but um, yeah, I mean that's that's all I'm gonna cover. Oh no, hold on. <coughs> uh, the Davis said Wednesday that federal authorities have told him in no uncertain terms that Souter was not a target of their inve- investigation into the gun trace task force. He said authorities have no reason to believe Souter's killing was connected to his pending testimony. <clears throat> and here's the quote. The PPT, the BPD and FBI do not possess any information that this incident is part of any conspiracy, Davis said. He said evidence shows the shooting occurred spontaneously as Souter investigated a suspicious person in Harlem Park neighborhood. There's no information that has been communicated to me that Detective Souter was on anything other than a stellar detective, a great friend, loving husband, and dedicated father. But considering, said. like, this is further down, what killed him? What killed him? He shot in the head. A single <coughs> shot to the head. Hold on. Let me, let me scroll down to where that is. It's right here. Police say Souter and a partner were conducting a follow-up investigation on a triple homicide in the 900 block of Bennett Place when he saw someone acting suspiciously in a vacant lot and approached. The 43-year-old married father of five was shot once in the head. He died the next day. Now, it's got a crazy... It doesn't say where he shot in the head. No, it doesn't say where. Clearly, he it, survived... It depends on where he shot in the head... Like, if he was shot in the back of the head, there's just clear-cut case, there's nothing I mean, he's there. probably closer to the front of the head, considering that if he was approaching somebody. <coughs> yeah, well, that's what I said. But if he was approaching somebody, this is a couple things. You know, if he was approaching somebody that was being suspicious, first of all, most people can't just shoot somebody in the head. I mean, the, anybody could. It doesn't really take much training, but most people that are committing crimes aren't that accurate or aren't that good with guns. Normally. Yeah. And they also fire multiple shots, mm-hmm. even, you know, whatever, however. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but it depends because if he's shot anywhere but the front of the head, then somebody else shot. <clears throat> like, not yeah. somebody else necessarily, or somebody else, like, you know, say his partner that might have also been dirty. Like, something like that. Well, apparently, apparently, right after the shooting happened, his partner took cover, and that was cooperated on private surveillance footage. Oh, okay. Well, so I don't but, think his partner was in on it. Maybe not. Because he so, immediately called 911 right after that shooting. That's good. So well, okay, well, it's like the other thing. There's been stories that come out, like from the FBI and other people, uh, people that probably, honestly, they've killed. I mean, this is like, like say, getting all conspiracy level stuff. But like these people were say, you know, they're interrogating somebody, or they went to this dude's house, and they say <clears throat> he shot and killed himself. Mm-hmm. Yet the bullet wound is in the back of his head, like, and the guy is not holding it. You don't shoot yourself in the back of the head. It's yeah. also it's hard and practically impossible. Like, you have to bend your arm. It's not impossible, but it's... Very it's, difficult. <clears throat> yeah. And, like, execute... And, you know, they're like, oh, he was shot execution style. And it's, like, suicide. And I'm like, no. Those two do not add up. <laughs> two plus two does not equal fish. Mm-hmm. Do not collect go. Do not pass go. Do not collect your $200. Yeah. But anyway. So that's the gist of the story. <coughs> it's pretty interesting. Sonic cheeseburger and for- Fuck off. Roll the video. Roll the video? Roll the, Roll the video? <laughs> well, the you get past the stupid ad... Oh, that's Stupid right. I think Sonic I ad. Dude, I forgot the Sonic ad ads. Mmm, look at that. It's a Houston woman accused of mailing explosive devices Ooh. to Governor Greg Abbott and former President Barack Obama. And we're learning tonight Ooh. the governor had a very close call. Brett Buffington is live Ooh. at the federal courthouse tonight with more on the story. Brett? Ellen, according to the indictments that have Julia Poff in jail tonight, we are learning that the box mailed to the governor's mansion was in fact opened by the governor himself. Oh. And court documents say the only reason that that explosive device didn't go off is because the governor opened the box wrong. <laughs> the explosive materials inside the box would have caused severe burns and likely death had they gone off. 
The indictment says Poff mailed the packages because she was upset with her ex-husband for failing to pay support. Sheesh, look at this. We have a governor can't even open a box right. <laughs> Gosh, how can we trust him to lead the state if he can't read instructions on opening a box? Hey, but his stupidity kept him he alive. He saved his life, which is ridiculous. Well... It's a, okay. To be fair, it's a box. I open boxes every like different every time. Yeah. There is no necessarily one way. To just enter. through the side. That's exactly what I do sometimes in my knives, just because it's kind of fun. So, if it, only if it's open the right way. And then, I guess I guess I guess you should have put like this side up <clears throat> stickers. No, nobody reads those. Let's be real here. I don't even think that. Open here and have an arrow. Maybe you would read that, because it tells you what to do. You're like, oh, okay, I'll open there. Yeah, especially if you make, like, the other side, tape the fuck out of the other side or everything else, and then make it look like you can open the one side easier. Because you're instinctively going to open the easier side anyway. You or just open whatever side is just there. <laughs> yeah. So, this is interesting. The former Social Security Commissioner. Now, this was all back in 2016, but it wasn't until just earlier this month that Poff was charged. Federal investigators were able to connect Julia Paul to the packages, shipping labels, and cat hair. Shipping labels and matched cat hair found in the box mailed to President Obama with Paul's cat. God damn, that's some level of investigation. I guess that again, when you're fucking threatening the president with a bomb, they take CSI level enhance. Enhance. No, 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 no. Enhance that. We don't even need this bullshit. We're live tonight at the federal. Well then, that's so that was the extent of that. So very all right, interesting. Okay. Anyways, teacher arrested after students catch her doing drugs in the classroom. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, I gotta get ready for this. Yes. <clears throat> Is it a cocaine? There's a video. Scroll down and roll the video. Okay. But after I do the little intro, uh, a teacher in Central, in Lake Central High School in Saint John, Indiana. She looks kind of skinny and cute. She better not be 50. She better not turn around. Faces drug-related charges after allegedly being caught by students using drugs in her classroom. Uh, 24 years old. Yeah! Fuck yeah. Uh, the students' witness witnesses contacted school administrators to call the police, who in turn requested the drug sn their drug-sniffing dog. Arrested was 24-year-old Samantha Cox, who was led from the school at about 1 p.m. Wednesday, facing felony drug possession and misdemeanor paraphernalia charges. Roll the video. Mm, I can't. Not Time at Northwest Indiana yeah, High School teacher. Apparently, like they may have, they may say that she may be smoking a mixture of cocaine and heroin. Charges walked out of the school in handcuffs today. Video what? of the incident what? surfaced what? online. It's supposed to be full screen. What is going on? Students <laughs> watched on. CBS 2's Charlie Demar. Can't fix it. it. <laughs> Lake Central High School. I don't know. Refresh. Cox arrested on two no drug charges Wednesday. Student John Rogers says he recorded this cell phone video okay, of his whatever. English we'll teacher in an empty classroom handling what police say. I mean, drugs. look at that. She's she's that's herself. not suspicious. She wasn't at her desk, but we could see she was on the corner with the where she thought like we can't see her. The onlooking students in between classes around 11:30. I mean, look at that. She's school administrators. And the 24-year-old arrested, escorted Packing out of the school idiot. in handcuffs. It's like a serious thing. A lot of people can get addicted to a lot of things, and something like this. Thank you for that insightful commentary. Very, like, a lot of people can get addicted to a lot of things. The school, you know, addressed it, uh, and they handled it very well, from what I've seen. I was absolutely horrified to see that video. That, that they were able to actually witness that, and then be able to take out their phones and be able to. See that in person. Jim Aaron's received no. a robocall from the school superintendent informing of the incident. Very resolution. shocking uh, for this for the district, and uh, I'm just again, all I want, I'm just glad that they've addressed it. Try to get help. You know, if you're going through something hard, try to get as much help as possible. And tonight, police that's a smarter kid. Commending the <laughs> yeah, really yeah. So that's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. It's a little bit ridiculous. Ridiculous, Dick. Uh, so is this actually the video? No, this no, is, that no, no. was that was the other thing that's we covered. Last. That was the video. We're moving we on to tech news. Are we? Because we haven't been covering anything or been saying what we're doing. Is this the self-driving cars and all this shit down here? He actually skipped the self-driving car. Okay, well, fuck you. And skip that last one because that's just Black Friday deals. Uh, Unless you want to show people some Black Friday deals. Black yeah, Friday deals. deals. The Blackest Friday. What do we got here? We got a fucking. We got a PS4 one terabyte slim console for one ninety nine. Usually two ninety nine at Amazon. PSVR. 
Usually $1.99. <coughs> Uh, one ninety nine, usually two ninety nine. There was actually a PSVR deal recently. Uh, I saw. There's a PSVR deal on Amazon, two fifty. You get you get the PSVR, you get the camera, and you get Skyrim VR, which I hear. Yes, I good saw things that. About. that. That was, was get it on Amazon. Of, it was something else. There was something else I, I saw. It was another one somewhere else randomly, but it was the same thing. It was the fucking. <coughs> Do you headset. need a four K TV? Yes, <coughs> forty inch <coughs> Samsung four K TV. 328 at Walmart. Or 49 inch class HDR UHD, which is also 4K, I believe. Yes, it is. But HDR adds on really nice specs. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You have to smart LED TV for 548 on Amazon. And Usually, apparently Walmart. 900 bucks. Yep. Now, this one's actually a fantastic deal I'm from about LG. The, oh, the OLED? The OLED <coughs> screen, yes. So this is LG's 55 inch OLED 4K HD TV. For thirteen ninety nine, normally two thousand dollars. This is a deal unseen for an LG OLED yep, of its right. size. And there's a fifty five inch HDR Samsung. Samsung to do. That's where I bought my TV last year. Was one of these, uh, you know, Samsung cheaper. That's a weird size, fifty eight inch. A little bit, yeah, because like two inches shy of fucking sixty and know. three past fifty five. What is this? The Sony fucking oh, uh, Sony TVs are like extra expensive. Plus, you're supposed to see a free I Love Odd Click personal assistant and portable speaker or Jam Voice wireless speaker. Apparently, you no longer have that option. So now it's just the portable speaker. <clears throat> yep. TVs, TVs, TVs. A three point one. How the fuck do you have a three point one soundbar? Hmm? Because it's you have the main one, you have two side ones, and a subwoofer. All in the same bar, I guess? No, no, no. <clears throat> they can be separate. It's a soundbar system, so... I well, the, the soundbar is like the main one, but then they might have two, Bose, two on the side. Or solo the series sound system, Bose companion, multimedia speaker system, Bose... Thing. Oh, get your Smart Google things. Home. Google Home, yeah, a lot of Google Homes. Which is 80 Wait, bucks. It's on $100 Black. at eBay. What? <clears throat> no, this will further drop to $79 on Black Friday. Or you can get Google Home Mini. <laughs> Just as good, twenty nine dollars oh, on shit. Google or a number of other places. There's, there's a Lexus I have one coming. WRT thirty two X. Ooh, that's AC actually a good price. And a free APC backup UPS system. Oh, huh, that's actually really. That's cool. not bad. Yeah. Nope. We're just gonna be telling you all your latest and greatest Black Friday deals. All right. Okay. Anyways, moving on. We're skipping that. Let's go. The FTC is reportedly looking into TripAdvisor after it censored users' reports of it. Which so we've this, talked about this. This is before. an update to a story we covered a few weeks ago about the FTC, about TripAdvisor blanking and deleting uh, reports from multiple people from different uh, various Mexican resorts of uh, serious accusations of rape and sexual <clears throat> harassment yep. and abuse. As this quote says from a letter sent to a Senator Tammy Baldwin last week, when consumers are unable to post honest reviews about a business, it can harm other consumers whose abilities to make well-informed purchase decisions are hindered and harm businesses that work hard to earn positive reviews. Supervisor yep. issued a statement to The Verge today saying, Quote, we are not aware of an inquiry by the Federal Trade Commission, nor have they contacted us. TripAdvisor is a global user-generated content platform that enables travelers to post uh, positive and negative reviews and form content about their experiences. We receive 290 pieces of content a minute and need to ensure the information posts to our height adheres to our current gu- uh, content guidelines to ensure the integrity of these posts. We stand by our publishing guidelines and how they are applied. Which is basically what they were saying because what, what they were um, was being lodged against them by people was that you know they were getting their reports and their forum posts and all of their reviews deleted because they were like graphic not, they weren't friendly, friendly. Yeah, they weren't friendly friendly which, well, I don't know what part about rape is family-friendly. So None of it, know. but fuck, if they're letting people, you know, not read these reviews and they go to these resorts and they get raped and it's on TripAdvisor. It is on your head, TripAdvisor. <coughs> yep. I mean, because the thing is that as we covered in the last, when we covered this story, is that TripAdvisor gets ads and money from these resorts. The resorts get, you know, good publicity from TripAdvisor. So it's a back and forth thing. The better the resorts do, the better TripAdvisor does because they get paid money from these resorts. The yep. better everyone wins. So as long as you keep the reports, the reviews positive in TripAdvisor, well, then you're never going to stop. Yep. So and apparently, Tripad- after the story first broke a couple weeks ago, uh, the vacation planning company introduced a batch system to flying hotels that had negative reviews published about them, particularly those that involved assault harassment or discrimination those badges only last for three months at a time the company also clarified that it's 
family-friendly language requirement no longer exists. Uh, all previously deleted posts are reinstated. So basically, Wrong. they reneged on all that, which is good because they uh-huh. needed to. You need to read further. Uh, still, the Wisconsin-based newspaper says dozens of additional people have come forward since the initial report claiming that the forum posts were also censored. So, they haven't changed yet. Yep. Anyway, that's it. Anyway, moving on. In an actually interesting report from Italy. In an actually interesting report from Italy. <laughs> well, nothing interesting happens in Italy. So it's Milan. Everything interesting happens in Milan. Oh, I have the latest fashions from Milan. Like this sweater. Very nice sweater. Great deal on it. Twenty nineteen dollars Eh. I don't like how thin it is. I yeah. hate that all the fabrics are fucking that thin now. It pisses me off. Yeah, but it actually keeps me pretty warm. It's uh, merino wool. I was looking at that or cashmere. I keep myself warm. And I was like, cashmere is nice. And I would love to, I, like, I tried a cashmere sweater out in <coughs> Neiman Marcus. Cashmere? Did you mean. Ba-na-na-na, ba-na-na-na. Put on with the Led Zeppelin. Mm. But it wasn't $100 worth of nice. Yeah. Like, I got this 20 bucks. It was originally 40 Great deal. Pretty good deal. It looks There's nice. There's a lot too. of shit on sale at uh, it wasn't even on JCPenney, oh. by the way. Yeah, I got it from uh, Uniqlo. There. Anyway, the JCPenney's got a thing like currently going on where they have stuff on their in their uh, what is it, clearance section, but then you also take an extra fifty percent off it for like Ooh. most things. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, the dude's clothing and stuff is expensive, but I know somebody who was able to get some girls' clothing for like five bucks, six bucks, and I was like. I wish the men's clothing was that cheap. That's <laughs> yeah. bullshit. But yeah. then again, we also don't buy millions of clothes. Usually we hold on to the same thing for like years. I've worn the same clothes for years. Yeah, Except for all my, all my Loot Crate shirts, they're all new. We were talking about High Kek's apparel earlier with Dakota. Dakota said that uh, High Kek looks like a, a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's worn the same clothes for the last two years. He also hasn't got a haircut in forever. And I was like... I mean, neither have I. <clears throat> Yeah, but you pull it back or you just don't do it. I want my hair to get, you know, super long again. I tried braiding it. It was interesting. Weird. <clears throat> you should get one of those old school, like, remember the, was it early 2000s, those auto braider things with the beads and shit they used to sell on TV? <laughs> you should get one of those. <laughs> oh, God. I remember those things. I remember. Did they work? I guess so. Obviously not well enough. I have been looking for a straightening iron brush. Oh, those are kind of nifty. Like, uh, do they work? I mean, I've seen. I believe them. so. Yeah, I've I've heard good things from them because <clears throat> they straighten while you. Push, yeah, basically. I've been I've been meaning to go because I have a straightening iron, but it's always such a fucking hassle to straighten the hair. Yeah, especially when you have that much. I think it's this long. Yeah, because like you know, you only get a contact like this fucking big. Yeah. Also, you easily burn things if you do it. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, so it's, it's like it's such a hassle. The results are always good. But it's just a hassle to do it. Anyways, enough about hair and fashion. <laughs> what are we? Freaking a YouTube? You did it. I didn't do anything. I'm just here. I'm talking about the deals, man. The what? The great deals and this fabulous clothing. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Amazon workers at an Italian distribution hub are planning a strike on Black Friday. Mm. Over 500 of Amazon's workers at the company's main distribution hub in Italy are planning to go on strike on Black Friday. I can tell you, from knowing Katie that works at Black Friday, at uh, Amazon. fucking Amazon, <clears throat> those people are probably, are all probably getting fired. Amazon takes Black Friday super fucking serious. Yeah, but and I mean, also even they if they take... fired every single one of these people, there's no way they can get replacements in time. I don't know. It is Amazon. But it is tomorrow, which is actually right now. Yeah, which is actually right now over there. Roughly, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it was, that's more than four hours' time difference, so yeah, I would think so. Yeah, 2.05 in London. Yeah. Why do you have a London clock? Just because? Sorry, not 2.05. Yes, I do. Just I, because. I, so, so, why just because? Of Three. 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 See, I had other white clocks because my wife was all over the world. So I gotta know what time they're in. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Uh, the Italian trade union said workers from Amazon's Placenia hub in northern Italy agreed to take agreed to strike for the first time after they failed to negotiate bonuses with Amazon. Uh, the workers also want rate look at these Europeans wanting bonuses. I've also heard races. that this year 
um, Amazon's like package for not being absent at any point in time during this like period of you know super mm -hmm. uh, uptime is kind of shit. Last year, like Katie was saying, they got they got Echo Dots, they got Kindles, they got like tons of money worth of shit. They had tons of stuff. Now they only have like Spurs tickets and like fucking other things. Also, dude, if you get the Spurs tickets, you can just sell them. Somebody will buy them for like yeah. decent amounts of money if they're good tickets. Depends on where they are. But yeah. It's Amazon, so they're like, and three dollar tickets. And floor side tickets. But Amazon's got the hookup. Maybe, but still. Anyways, the workers want raises to compensate mandatory night shifts, overtime, or working six days in a row to keep up with the logistical demands. Yep. That's Clearly right. that means they don't have enough people. Clearly. Well, no, that's just what they force. They force everybody to work. Like, yeah, but I mean, they need more people. <clears throat> well... Normally, so like Katie, so this is probably a fulfillment center or distribution center, which is the fulfillment side. Yeah, fulfillment side gets free like shit anyway. But like Katie, for instance, she normally works only four days a week. She gets mm -hmm. four days on, four days off. You know, or four days on, three days off, whatever the fuck. No, it's four and four, or three and four. Either way, she works twelve-hour shifts for three days. So it's only thirty-six hours. They don't normally work, you know, an actual forty. Yeah, but these people are working six days yeah. straight. But whenever holiday season comes up, they get what's called mandatory overtime, where they have to work, you know, all the hours they get. Mm -hmm. And she was surprised that she was able to come visit me because last year she had mandatory overtime. This year, she like you know had her normal off schedule mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, that's but yeah, that's true. what they do. By the way, they also don't pay time and a half. They pay some weird algorithm that they have that's not full time and a half. It's Can they do that? I, I don't they think they can. Legally, but you know, the ever like that's a part of your employee contract that she was telling me, and I was like, I still think that's illegal. Yeah, federally that is illegal because I think federal overtime is. Any time, time and you half. work after forty hours is time and a half, as far as I know as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says right here. Uh, if they work over forty hours a week at a rate not less than time and one half the regular rate, mm -hmm. that's federal overtime. I mean, if they're not if they're not getting that, they need to sue. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so go tell Katie to start a union. Start a union. Uh, additionally, starting from Black Friday, the striking workers will refuse overtime during the holiday season, typically the busiest season for the company, until December thirty first. The Plazenia Hub has sixteen hundred. Permanent employees, which basically means a third of their employees, will not be working during this time. And it was one of the first built in Italy after Amazon launched a local site there in 2010. Amazon said it remains focused on trying to get delivers, deliveries to their customers on time on Black Friday and in the days after. It's noted that the that its salary, its worker salaries, are among the highest in logistics sector, with some benefits like private health insurance and subsidies for training programs included. Uh, many European countries, including Italy, have adopted Black Friday shopping traditions set a day after Thanksgiving. Uh, why do they... Okay, so here's a good question. Why do they have they accepted Black Friday America? shopping? No, 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 Because Black Friday is after Thanksgiving for us. They don't have yes. Thanksgiving. No, they don't. But it's still America. And we rule. Our culture is global. It's true. I mean... So, you know, when we start doing shit, like Halloween is catching on. In Europe. Well, technically, Europe had something like Halloween. It's all yeah, pagan. but I mean, our, it originated our, in Europe. Well, no, it originated in the United States. Well, Halloween? Yeah. No, it originated as a pagan holiday in fucking Europe. No, it originated as a religious holiday, a Christian holiday in the United States. We'll look that up after. I we'll really don't that. think so. I don't. It's not Christian. It's not. It doesn't have Christian origins. It has pagan roots, but it came into prominence. Not the Christianity in the United States. Yeah, but hardcore so Christians say it's the devil's work. Taking part in Halloween no, is taking part in the devil. No, but they're wrong because they're idiots and they don't actually know the origins. They're just stupid. No. Which isn't really surprising. Hello. Holy shit, it's a Barnas. Barnas doesn't exist. Where have you been, mate? Did you fucking do too many dirts? Oh, Barnas just followed. Barnas, I thought you already followed. He might have been unfollowed if he hasn't been around for a while. He hasn't been around in anywhere. I haven't even seen him in Discord and Pots Discord. Doesn't even hey. say hi to me, like everybody hey, else. Hello. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, uh, okay. I'm telling you, it started in... Doesn't matter. Carry on with the story. It's over. Oh, it's over. Well, you're over.
Fuck you. This there whole show is over. There's the alert I was waiting for. Yeah, that's new. That's been there for a while. I changed it all kind of. I guess I haven't seen any recent follows. Do what? I guess I haven't seen any recent follows. Well, yeah, sometimes the alerts don't work. I've noticed that it just doesn't do anything sometimes. Maybe now's a good time to get a Kindle. Huh? Kindles are 50 bucks. Kindles are kind of meh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see the point in a Kindle. Like, I, reading, I like the feel of reading a book. I hate fucking reading. Don't get me wrong. But reading have, an actual book is I know, nice. but my ebook library is in, like, the thousands. That's because, what, Humble Books? Well, Humble Books, but also uh, Kindle, entire Kindle library torrents. Jesus like, literally, Christ. there was a torrent a few years ago with, like, every book and every book on Kindle. It's literally, like, a couple hundred gigs of ebooks. So what you're saying is... And I got I need and I to good, I need to, I need, Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy another 5 terabyte hard drive. I wonder if they're going to go on sale. Just go on eBay and get a couple 3 terabyte hard drives that I get. But, but I don't have enough SATA ports for that. Get it, PCIe SATA. You're telling me to buy a bunch more shit when I can just buy one more big-ass drive and be done. You're going to need that hub anyways. Probably eventually. I'm going to be like, five terabytes. And then that's going to fill up. All right, I need five more terabytes again. And then five more terabytes. Just get the PCIe hub. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon or however much. It? Yeah, I bought one because I needed it for all the hard drives I had to supply for my NAS. Because my NAS has like 10 hard drives. Mm-hmm. And it's like, ah, oh, shit, I'm out of PCIe port. Or SATA ports. They're on a PCIe hub. SATA. And then I gave me like five more satellites. I'm like, okay. Maybe while I'm at the well, maybe while I'm doing it at the same time, I should get me a wireless AC card. Question mark. Yeah, oddly. I don't know. Let me go I, let me go look through my purchase history when we're done and I'll see how much that card costs. Alright, anyway. Uh so yes, we're done with that. Woman raises It's been exact. Yeah, he was talking about his, his life because I was saying I haven't seen a while. He's a college student. Pretty cool. <clears throat> I didn't even know he was a college student. Anyways, now for some feel good stories and stupidity. This one? Okay. Is this the this story? It's, yeah, it's a feel good story. Yeah. Okay. Homeless man spends his last $20 to keep her safe. She's raised with the party. When did we start doing the talk show? Uh, we're in our 36th. <laughs> we're in our 33rd week. We've been doing this for over half a year now. Yeah, we've been we've been doing this talk show for a while. You just don't know about it because all you know about is Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't mean that in a wrong way. I mean that as in, like, I, I don't really... No, no, no. You're wrong for not watching this. You you followed now now watch us religiously. <laughs> you never told me. I you were like new and I thought all you like to do was shoot things. Some people aren't interested in let's talk to him. Shit, Pot would like it except he would dog on us because all the time we dog on Trump and shit and like his views are kind of like <laughs> away on the other side of ours. And he goes green eggs and ham. Um, so what what am I looking for here? Because like it just this tagline starts off and it's just kind of stupid. How much money spent his last twenty dollars to keep her safe? She's raised two hundred fifty thousand dollars to repay him. I assume it's I guess gone it's, up. What? Holy shit! Was it no different? earlier when I caught this story? He was at thirty four thousand. Fucking hell! When did you catch the story? Earlier today. What? So he's enough to affect the GoFundMe account. He two hundred fifty thousand by Thursday afternoon, November twenty third. Up from thirty four thousand when the story was originally published the day before. So yesterday it, it was thirty four. Today it went up to two hundred fifty thousand. God damn! Jesus. That man is now good. He's now for living. a little while. If, if you know she gets the money to him, obviously. Yeah, which I expect. Which I would hope she would. Yeah. <clears throat> Kate McClure didn't expect to run out of gas on her drive to Philadelphia last month. She definitely didn't expect that her misfortune would give her the opportunity to change somebody else's life. Pulled over on the side of I ninety five. McClure, 27, was approached by a homeless man named Johnny. Oh, yes, always the one liner names. Yeah. She was apprehensive at first, obviously, because, well, fucking. Homeless always man worrying randomly about coming up to somebody. Well, not even homeless man, just anybody. At well, this yeah. point, I worry about people. And, and actually, I thought about this today. I'm going to go off on a little bit of side tangent here. Like, I thought about this, because, like, hmm. my family is always given, you know, like, our neighbor, like, we give the lady over there, which has been our neighbor forever, literally, because it's the house we lived in when I was born. Like, you know, cookies and stuff. And, like, I'm living here now. I'm not going to do shit for anybody. And that's not how it's going to be when I move anywhere. I'm never going to come outside. I'm never going to talk like, to anybody. It's like, neighbor. And like, you're just going to be that one guy. You're going you're gonna to be the fucking Vegas shooter. I'm going to be the Vegas shooter. Like, everyone's going to be like, oh, howdy, neighbor. We here don't have privacy like, fences. He, privacy fence immediately. He never said anything to us. He was always real shifty. 
Him and his wife. <laughs> I, I, he was always shifty eyes. Wait, you mean like the emoticon? I'm just like wearing a mask that has shifty eyes. <laughs> no, no, no. You've got that guy's mask from uh, Watch Dogs 2. I haven't seen I haven't really watched Dogs 2. It's, it's, <coughs> it's, he has a mask that has like emotion cons for eyes that change whenever his voice and emotion. That's cool. It's pretty so, interesting. So it's basically I would be fucking uh, Daft Punk. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, just do that. But no, I mean, like, it's just kind of whatever. <sighs> I thought you were going to say he raped her. Dude, I know, right? But uh, but Johnny told her to get back into her car and lock the doors while he walked to get her help. He went to a nearby gas station, used his last $20 to fill a can, and brought it back to fill up her car. A can of what? Gasoline. Did he, did he buy a gas can? Like what? This is this is a homeless man, basically. I'm like, where did he get a fucking gas can from? The gas can know. itself was twenty bucks. Anywhere you go, yeah. So he might have been. I guess, like, I guess he might have a gas can, you know, and then filled it. I don't know. I don't know. Or it says a or can. Whatever. Something. Let's just not look too yeah. far into it. <laughs> not going deep. Grateful, but without a dollar to repay him, McClure promised she would come back with something. In weeks since, she returned to the spot on the night after Johnny stays with cash, <laughs> snacks, and Wawa gift cards. Wawa, which we figured this out at I some guess. point, is their local convenience store or whatever. Or their local uh, like supermarket or something. Yeah. Which is really weird and an odd name. Anyway, each time she stopped by her with her boyfriend, Mark D. Amasio, which I assume is fucking Italian or something. Yeah. They've learned a bit more about the Johnny's story and become humbled by his gratitude. Eventually, the foreign house, a couple knew they had to do something more. I would say I keep thinking about that guy, D. D. Amasio said. And McClure was thinking about Johnny, too. So they launched a GoFundMe campaign, putting an ambitious $10,000 goal and hoping to rein in a few hundred dollars to book Johnny a motel for a few nights where he could clean up and start to get back up on his feet. As of Thursday, November 23rd, 2017, today, the campaign had garnered more than $250,000 in donations, up from 34000 on Wednesday when the story was originally published. So who... I wonder who blew up the story, basically. Well, I mean, probably... The, probably, you know, people started covering it, it got to the news, and the news, of course, covered it. And when news covers anything, it usually, especially considering this is the Miami Herald, they're a major, my, they're a major Florida, Florida, you know, paper. Oh, yeah, these are your people, fucking panda. So, uh, this is just fantastic. This no, is, this, this is, is good. This is great this is to hear good, on Thursday, good, good, on Thanksgiving. This is a good Thanksgiving thankful story. You know, Meanwhile, this, there was a shooting today and some other shit, but, you know, whatever. I just hope he actually is able to use it effectively. Cause, well, I mean, it sounds like... Because if he don't... was a drug addled, like one of the drug addled or alcoholic, you know, bums, yeah. he, he, I don't think he would have done that with anything. He wouldn't have yeah. probably gone that way. But the thing is, like, they've done, they've done studies, and they're not like broad studies, because it takes a lot of money to do studies like this. But they've done, like, studies where they've given homeless people a couple thousand dollars, and they followed them and see what they spent it on. And it was a very small study, so it's not representative, of course, because well, there's some it's just videos of the statistically online, insignificant. By the way. Like mm-hmm. some of those prank people channels or whatever, yeah. where they go and do the same thing, and they follow people around and see what they do, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but this was actually a long-term, very in-depth study where mm-hmm. the homeless person had access to like financial advisors and like assist, you know, people to help him get on his feet mm-hmm. to see what he would do. And they found that he blew all of the money very quickly, mm-hmm. um, and just went back to being homeless. I mean, the guy was given all the opportunities in the world, you know. Some people also honestly like being homeless. Yeah, some people do. Well, you know, that's one of those things. Do you want to be homeless? You know, when people use that as, like, one of those negative things, there's some people that honestly like the lifestyle. It's a, I think, probably a really shitty lifestyle, I would assume. But, like, some for some people, I I have plenty of friends that have said, you know, they've lived out on the road before for, like, a couple weeks because they had nothing. (laughs) And they said, you know, it was a life-changing experience. It's one of those, like, come to Jesus quest or, like, the fucking Native American spirit guide quest. Those sorts of things. You go out and you just kind of live off of whatever you got and whatever you can find. Shower and truck stops. And near-death experiences and whatnot. And, like, it changes your view on life and everything. I probably need one of those. Actually, I'm going to see the same thing I already know. Man, the world's a shitty place. But yeah. That's I like that. like You're saying that twenty bucks is cheap for gas? No, not really. Twenty dollars isn't cheap. I well, mean, twenty, bu- 20 bucks gas. can fill up like over half my car, like like three fourths of a tank. What? Twenty dollars doesn't even fill up my tank. I mean, that's what I budgeted every month is twenty bucks on fuel, and it gets me like three fourths of a tank. Really, spend twenty dollars a month? 
I it's been fucking in, $20 a week. I mainly drive in town. I don't drive to like, like Jackson well, every I don't, day. No, no, no. I, that's cheaper and easier. No, no, no. When I was driving in town, I was spending like $20 a week because like it would kill my gas. Mm. Well, you also have like a sports car kind of thing. Yeah, I also have expensive gas. My gas mileage isn't And like you super also do big. buy like Supreme. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well. No, gas for us is like 154 a whole thing. What are you driving? What in the fuck? I mean, hey, what are you what driving? Are, what are you what driving? Do you drive? How tank? big is that tank? Do you have like an extra tank on that thing? He's in, uh, you're in Australia, right? Barnes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sucks to be you guys, yeah, honestly. What the fuck are you driving? Some old, outdated koala van? No, the car was 40. Yeah, yeah, if I wanted a full tank of gas, it'd be like yeah, 35. Yeah, it's, it's 40, basically. Like yeah. 35, 40. Yeah. Closer to 35, actually. I make sure to buy the cheapest gases, though. Like, dude, so going up north to fucking San Marcos, it, it's 2.30 a gallon up there. And then down here at, like, Wharton, it's like 2.10, mm-hmm. 2.13, 2 whatever. It's basically a huge markup, and it's nuts. Yeah. Ugh. I don't buy gas up there, because that makes my gas stand near $3 a gallon. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, it was but a good story. It's a good story, and it's great, it's great to hear. Um, apparently, he's also, he was a, a veteran... And it's apparently he started the process of getting his paperwork replaced uh, with Veteran Affairs. Nice. Actually, he hopes to get a job at Amazon Warehouse in Robinsville. I, I drive a Mercedes. What the fuck kind of Mercedes do you drive? Well, it's he drives a Mercedes. Shit. Which means he's probably getting like super unload or the Supreme gas. Yeah, he gets And there I'm it's probably I'm like $7 a gallon if he is in Australia, as you say. Is it? I don't know. Like in Canada, people? it's like $5 a gallon of just normal unloaded. That's the S-Class. Oh, he's, is he using diesel? <clears throat> it's an S-Class AMG. I don't know. I don't remember what the fucking S-Classes are. Like, dude, how much is how much is fuel a gallon there? Or, yeah, that's like a big... Or, or, well, actually, he, if he's in Australia, as you say, liters, then. Hey, how much is a liter of petrol? Hmm. <laughs> 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 uh. Uh, petrol, though, is actually different from gasoline. Really? It's legitimately different by octane value and everything. That's Lower why. Or higher? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's it's in between. Like the the ours is like eighty two or eighty three of our lowest. Theirs starts at like eighty four, eighty five. Oh, so it's actually it's similar, but then it goes up higher, and that's why like there's European engines that use like petrol, and like it, it has a different rating. Hi, little cat. Hi, baby. Where are you running to? I want to run, you little shit. Yeah, she's just exploring her home. Yeah, yeah she doesn't go outside. But anyway. Anyways. Cover the so next one. Mother Sleeping calls Beauty for... With your beautiful Disney hair. There you go. Look at that. A dollar sixty a liter. Let's, somebody, let's translate that while I read this story. Okay. Thank you. A uh, mother calls for Sleeping Beauty to be banned from primary school as it promotes inappropriate behavior. Let's see. It's about, it's about 25. a quarter. Yeah, it's about a quarter. Of so a 160 times 4. <coughs> 166 times 4 is. That's what I like. 320. 6, 640? But may, remember, it's 160 a liter, so it sounds good to them. <laughs> It does. Because it's like our, you know, dollar and something a gallon. Jesus Christ, though. Is that right? It was six times. What, four? Four. Six yeah. four. God damn! Six forty. Six forty a gallon. Fuck's sake. God. We pay a third of that. No wonder it costs you $150 to fill up. Yeah, so like, let's see. Uh, six forty fucking... God, it's horrible. I shudder to think of that. Six How do people live times, there? Times... What is a normal tank... Let's say 14 he's got gallons? a big tank. It's only 15. So he has a bigger tank. He's got like a 25, 30 gallon tank. Good damn Mercedes. It, the S Class? Isn't the S Class a fucking SUV? Is that, wouldn't that be S? Yeah. Well, I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't own a Mercedes. I never considered one. <laughs> I wouldn't because they're not that great. Yeah. Uh, a mother has asked for Sleeping Beauty to be removed from classes of younger children at her son's primary school as it promotes inappropriate sexual behavior. Oh, it's their It's their, it's their sedan. I guess a luxury sedan class. Yeah. Uh, MPG. MPG 18. That's terrible. It's got a V8 in it. That's why. It's like mm. my mom's Audi. 
It's, it can, this is this class is an SUV. Huh? But the fuel eye ball is like God, 230. Because you need pre- Yeah. So he does what I need. Okay, let's reconvert that then. Uh, Fucking hell. So 2.3 times 4. No. <laughs> Nine dollars. God damn. So he does have like a 16 gallon tank. So he's got a 15, 16 gallon tank. Yeah. Woo. Jesus Christ, mate. God, America. Fuck yes. Even though I know that our prices would be about doubled if it wasn't for the fuel subsidies that we pay. So, we're paying it somewhere. We're either giving it in subsidies to the fuel companies to artificially lower our gas prices, or we take it upon ourselves and then pay higher gases. And we don't really win either way. Artificially, it looks good on us because we have really low gas price. But realistically, we'd be paying about like four, like double. Yeah, but then on top of that, then, you know, I would say if like we paid that price... Fucking minimum wage would definitely have to increase. You know, I'll take getting rid of the tax subsidies for big oil if that money can go to paying for college education for all. It's never going to happen. They're God gonna, damn it. I want like, shit. Like, we need to have sit down and have a discussion with pot because, like, pot, you know, is so negative against college education for all. So negative against Interesting. everything about... Uh, you think that'd make your prices lower? Because that means clearly you have a large supply of... Gas. Either that or they export so much that they short shorthand their supply. I guess so that doesn't make that doesn't make sense for a good country to do that. I don't know if you have nationalized uh, well, oil it's companies. It's it's a good country, but remember it's run by you know convicts, so they're not very intelligent. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old chick. Huh? Yes. But I mean, it's true. Carry on. Anyways, uh, Sarah Hall. Raised the issue after her six-year-old daughter brought home a child book's version of the fairy tale. The mother of two was concerned about the message of the story where a prince kisses Sleeping Beauty to wake her from her cursed slumber. Sent it's younger children. been the same fucking story for years. Actually, that's the Disney version. The original version is a couple different ones. In the original, I think it's the Grimm's fairy tale because there's one even older than that. But in the Grimm's fairy tale. The princess wakes up after the prince has sex with her while she's in a coma. <clears throat> and then she wakes up during childbirth, which is how she's actually awoken. I like that version. That's more hardcore. <clears throat> what's that? <laughs> no, what Harpy says happens, Harpy. What, 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 what's what I say happens? What are you talking about? No, that, that uh, Australia is sending more oil, sending more gasoline out to China, so they're short supplying yeah. Australia. Which That's is stupid. stupid. But Incredibly it's stupid. Come on, Australia, get in your game. The fuck? If you could artificially lower your prices, you'd get more people in there. You'd, your pro, your price of products would be cheaper. Like, there are so many positives to lowering your... To you'd increasing your really supply and lowering the price. themselves on the supply to increase their, like, export. Like, the amount of money they get from exporting. I suppose. Like, I mean, they artificially inflate the Chinese by export everybody. is so much better than, you know, providing better... Pricing to your own people. Yeah. Because if prices would go down, that means transport costs would go down, which means products would go down in price because it'd be cheaper to transport them. So everything in Australia could be cheaper. If Australians, if the Australian corporations or government, whoever's running your oil exports or gas exports, And before it's American corporations. Would, uh, probably. <laughs> probably just shell companies in Australia. Yeah. Um, this woman is ridiculous. Is this a picture of her? This is a picture of her. Let's show this picture of her. She looks like a generic white woman. This is the picture. This is the face This looks like of a generic idiot. old lady that bitches about stupid shit at a school. Yeah. My child! I can just see that coming out around. My child has seen so-and-so, and it's just like, lady, you're the reason why America's getting dumber because we're fucking dumbing down education and taking out all the good things that people learn. Shit, I'm not going to be surprised like whenever somebody eventually takes a stab at like 1984 and shit from George Orwell, which is a great book and a great read. Yeah, I figured as much. Petrol companies don't want what they want us to pay more for fuel. Yeah, yep, that, I don't know. Anyway, that's stupid. Just like this next thing. <clears throat> Ring's new $100,000 doorbell is encrusted with sapphires, diamonds, and gold. Kenneth, you know you're going to buy this. I don't have $100,000. If, if, if it wasn't sapphires, but it was rubies, you would buy this. It'd look nicer. That means he'd buy this. 
Let me show you what this looks like for all the folks at home, so you can understand how much this of a is ludicrous. Is. Oh, Barneth, I need more Jew jokes. I forgot the other two, but I, I, I need more Jew jokes because they're funny. I mean, this yeah, is ludicrous. This is, this is exactly the kind of shit Kenneth goes for. I would not go- no, 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 no. I would not because I know how stupid this product is. Because a, it's a wireless connect, it's a Wi-Fi connected doorbell. It's an IoT doorbell. It's an IoT doorbell. So that's a security issue right there. Also. It's going to be outdated in, like, two years. And it's on the outside of your house. You're going to have to get a goddamn guard just to guard your fucking doorbell. The stupidity of this shit. Well, if you have a gate... If you're rich enough to buy this fucking doorbell, you probably have a gated house. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, you're outer... Your fucking yard But then again, you're going to have your, door, your $100,000 doorbell exposed to the elements... What, you're going to have to build, like, a little, like, enclosure? No. To... You have a hundred... If you have a hundred thousand dollars to spend on a fucking doorbell, you have a hundred thousand dollars to just piss away. Yes. So I they wouldn't do any of it. I know. I, it's just stupid. This is a stupid... What? This is why it's in stupid and crazy. Yeah. Because well, it's just a stupid product. Well, Black Friday deals can up smart home appliances on the cheap. The opposite also exists for users looking for a taste of luxury. Mm. Smart home accessory maker Ring just revealed a limited edition video doorbell encrusted in jewels. The very poshly named Ring Elite Crown Jewel has 2,077 sapphires and 40 diamonds and that's set thing. into an 18 That price is ridiculous because you know what? I, I, could buy, say, I could buy the gold, the sapphires, and the diamonds straight from China, lab made. Nobody will know the difference. And it could, I could easily get, because gold that thin, thin enough to embed jewels, it doesn't need to be really thick. I mean, it's for carrots. Uh, yeah, still, for about I would say give or take five hundred bucks, maybe a thousand. I could recreate this, and then you could sell it for a thousand. And then I could I could sell it for fifty thousand. Yeah, there you go. So the price of materials versus what you're getting in this is ridiculous. Yeah, but that's but with people, anything. That's with any jewelry, though. Let's yeah, take yeah, a step back here for a minute. Truly understood what they're getting and what they're paying for. Again. Stop, stop right there. Take a step back. All jewelry is that way. We've well, we've talked about this off show, off topic, but like all jewelry is that way. And all jewelry companies which will sell you the same fucking diamonds from the same original manufacturers and the same fucking rings are made by the same original manufacturers just pieces. Well, yeah, as, I mean as we and also as we've covered. They all say that they're the best and they'll all have a different markup. Mm-hmm. And oh. also, as we covered, diamonds is an artificial scarcity. Yeah. There are there are enough diamonds to give every single person on the planet like a fistful of diamonds. They are so plentiful, but we don't have them because it's just artificial scarcity by the biggest diamond companies in the world who have put out marketing campaigns since the forties to try and convince people. Oh, at first it was like, oh, you got to spend a month's salary, then two months. Now it's three months in some places. You got to spend. No, the whole thing is you spend three months' salary on a shit, diamond for forever. Shit, the rings in New York, at, like and Tiffany's the, or anything, is like I went fifty to grand or it's whatever. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Cheapest thing in there was like two thousand dollars. Apparently, apparently, you're not allowed to take video or take pictures of those things because, like, so I watched a YouTube video of a dude going from store to store. And he was like, "Just how much of a ripoff are diamonds, really?" And he just goes through and he like was taking pictures, and you know, he had a like, secret video, hidden video camera, and you're like. Sir, you cannot take pictures of this, you know, of mm. all, everything. And I was like, some of them didn't care. But, you know, they all boasted they were the best, that they were different, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Because uh, um, uh, in long story short, the people selling you jewelry at any place are just there to sell you jewelry and make a commission profit. Because that's mm-hmm. what they do. And that's the thing, like, I can go, like, money. this ring I have on my hand, which you can't really quite see because it's not really in focus. <laughs> it's made, it has diamonds and rubies in it. And made of silver. These are all lab stones. I knew that when I bought this, and I was fine with it. Because fuck your natural stones or whatever bullshit. Like, I can go buy, like, a bag full of genuine rubies, lab made, for like ten bucks. Yeah, we've looked at this. Shipping, yeah, we, the we shipping, really honestly the shipping is more expensive than the gemstones themselves. Like, I could have everything encrusted in diamond and rubies if I wanted to. For next to nothing, because it's dirt cheap to buy lab-made stones that are exactly the same as genuine stones. But no, people want genuine, or they just don't really know or care to know the difference. It's just ridiculous. And that's why I have this little fucking doorknob bullshit on this. 
episode. This is ridiculous price. I have a kid. No. And then nobody can really see. Don't you ever read it yet? There it is. Moving on. Yes, moving on. It's his new uh, shelter cat that he just got. So, uh, Coffee Shop apologies, apologizes for happily gentrifying the neighborhood sign. <laughs> Let's show the sign. <laughs> I find this funny. Happily gentrified neighborhood since 2014. I approve of that sign. I think it's funny. Yes. An American coffee shop chain has apologized for a sign appearing to celebrate the gentrification of a historically black neighborhood. Social media users reacted with outrage to an A-board advertising ink, uh, an A-board advertising ink coffee in Denver, Colorado, which said happily gentrifying the neighborhood since 2014. There have been calls for customers to boycott the company, which has 16 shops across the capital city and Aspen. And then there's different tweets of, Hey, eat copy. Fuck you. Consider yourself boycotted. I will never set foot in that store. You're what's wrong with Denver these days. Seriously disgraceful and disrespectful to the actual local businesses and people that know the area. The sign is reportedly displayed on Larimer Street in Five Points, an area of Colorado of the Colorado like capital with a large African-American population. How much is that, anyway? Uh, this was uh, 100 bucks. That's actually reasonable. How many, well, how, the biggest deal is how many days of charges does it get? One. Oh. And like a quarter. I hate that. That's yeah, the only problem. I do. Smart That's why I, I wore the pebble. That's why I still may wear the pebble. I'm just trying this out for like the next week or two and see how I like it. And then you like I like the benefits. Like I can actually take calls on this. Like it has a speaker in here mm-hmm. and a mic and I've actually taken a call on this thing. Nice. And you know it has the Google Assistant which is nice. I can just ask it questions. And also like integrates in with like all of my media apps like Google Music and YouTube and all that jazz which is what I love. Um, I just don't like some of the things that bad so I'm still trying to get it functioning appropriately. But uh, for a hundred bucks I'm like I'll give Android Wear another try. So, hmm. Uh, Denver, once dubbed the Harlem of the West has seen an influx, an influx of white and affluent people in recent years which has driven out black and ethnic minority people and working class families. Like, I get it, you know. This is a this is an upper scale kind of coffee shop coming into a neighborhood that's historically black and uh, but everybody gentrifying it because it's raising property values, getting, you know, you know, hiring people, raising taxes, doing good for the community. The only problem is it's pushing out the people who live there. And that's the unfortunate side effect. But, I mean, what can you do, really? I mean, if you're a business, you know, you're going to be there because it's a good area. You're not just going to move just because, by happenstance of you being there, landlords and renters are raising the rent because property values are increasing and they can charge more. Yeah. You know, I mean, gentrification is good, in my opinion. In most cases. Maybe not all cases, but most cases. Because gentrification usually improves the neighborhood quite dramatically. And the thing is, if it was the people in the community gentrifying the community, that would be an accident for them. The thing is that they come into these areas, and most of these people don't have money, most of these people like really low-end, minimum-wage jobs in a variety of different areas, and they simply don't have the money to start a business or whatever. So, I mean, it's a catch-22. You get businesses, you get better tax rates, you get better, you know, items in your neighborhood, and you eventually get moved out, but crime goes down and, you know, things go up. Or you stay there in your shitty neighborhood with your high crime and your low property values and you will never leave there. It's just, I don't know, what do you think? This cat's cute as shit. <clears throat> uh... Uh, really no no real opinion on it to be honest I mean it's good but I don't know in relation to like our town skyrocketing fucking taxes and no real gentrification of anything I mean we're getting different businesses in here kind of not really 
No, I didn't say good business. I mean, yeah, they, what, what's just the problem? <laughs> I mean, like the strip malls are bringing in newer, higher class businesses. The, the ones over there by Walmart did. That yeah. Was done, that was done before the tax, like the super tax hikes yeah. over the last couple of years. No, no, that was done within the last couple of years. Well, so right I, I mean, it, I mean it's over, in line. Before the last, well, before the last year. There's something going on on YouTube right now. A lot of people are in hit by the Van Hammer, iDubbbz, Keemstar, Mr. Wait, Rebsion, wait, Mr. Repsion and iDubbbz? Conan! It's a name of you. Well, that's a book series. We know found that one. Book Easter. Interesting. What? Let's just pull that up. Ignore the story. I don't know. I'm going to pull it up. You go. Go for it. Say that even. Let's let's see what's going on here. Apparently, lots of people have been uh, randomly getting terminated on YouTube for no apparent reason. Uh, let's see. Steiner, Hammer, six six six. Let's see, Mr. Repsion. Let's see, Team YouTube. I had no violations, nothing. Uh, Khan has been terminated for violating YouTube guidelines. Idubs gone. Let's see, Undoomed, let's see, I dubbed Keemstar, Sticks, are gone. Conan O'Brien's gone. Fucking hell. YouTube is, has a shit, shit storm on their hands. <laughs> this is much. You're banning some of the biggest content creators on all of YouTube? Let's see if I'm banned on YouTube yet. I mean, clearly not. Nope. Uh, why would I be banned? This is breaking news. As of within the last hour. Whew. This is hot. It's hot. Don't worry. I was just looking at this. Hey, it wasn't too great, but I would like to talk with you. What the fuck is this? <clears throat> Eight subscribers. I think they want some gaming people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Shit. And I wonder what Team Coco has to say about it. Team Coco. <laughs> that's pretty funny. They haven't posted anything this year. I'm surprised. Do you think Conan O'Brien's team would be on top of it? What about for a message this person? Is there a way to message people on fucking the... Yes, yes, there is. Uh, normally... Subscribe to them? Um... Hmm. No... Well, I guess they don't have that enabled, but whatever. I guess you could respond to their comment. Anyways, well, that's really interesting, and I guess... Our clans can discuss something. Damn. Apparently, this was what I needed to do back in the day. It was just post a recruit, you know, a clan video destroying kids, and then all these people would come out of the room and were like, yes. Anyways, yes. well, I guess, um, I guess this is where we'll it's like end it. Views. It's got a down button. Thanks yeah. for Hikek for letting us know, but shit, this is... Yeah. Whew. Yep. <clears throat> I think we're gonna go to Walmart and go have yeah, a good old time. It should be we fun. could we could Twitch live stream it. It's probably gonna be fine though. Yeah, I, I really don't think there's any too much carnages here. There's like by my right, I've asked so many people and they're like, What's going on? No, I don't think there's really anything I've seen or care about, so it's gonna be like a meh. Yep. Alrighty then. So Good night, everybody. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us oh, on this actually, Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake, what are we doing? No, what? What? No, 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 this is what I wanted to do here. This was supposed to have a fucking thankful for section. I'm thankful for all of you fuckers that are a part of our community. I'm also thankful for Kenneth over here for being my friend and continuing on with the show. I'm thankful for fucking this cat that's an addition to my family and fucking pretty much all that. Also, thanks for anybody that views whether or not. You've been here, whether or not you're new, whether or not you see this later on, you know, however, whatever. But thank you all for making this year pretty decent or better mm -hmm. than it could be. And I and I would echo those statements. I really thank everybody in our community. We're all, you know, coming together as a community. I can definitely see, you know, we're really putting in a lot of good effort and such. And I'm excited to see where we're going to go on that in the coming year. I really should be excited. I know we've been talking about some plans and things we could do to... Uh, we increase our visibility as well as engage more in the community. So we're going to talk about that uh, eventually and get something worked out about that. So this coming next year should actually be really exciting. We're going to have some things in the works. Um, 
Um, okay, have a good I, one. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to bed. No, he's asking if I'm going to bed. Uh, no, we're going to Walmart. We're, okay, we're <laughs> going to Walmart. Yeah, no, I'll The be most on. exciting of places. I'll be on, and, uh, like, after we do that, we're going to go take a trip, and we'll see if I can't buy a new bed since mine's now fucked. Or buy something. I don't know. I'll sleep on we'll fucking see. pillows. I have no idea. But yeah, go go check out, see what if there's anything decent. Because sometimes there's deals that aren't listed in the ads, but like there's some cool shit to buy. Mm-hmm. Oh, 32 gig flash drives from Sandus are five bucks. Oh, so I'm gonna pick. Yeah, I was, I was gonna yeah, pick yeah, one definitely, up. Definitely. Yeah, just random shit like that. So yeah. we're gonna go check them out. And as I was saying, I'm thankful for my family. I mean, they're. I had a nice Thanksgiving with them. I didn't say that, but I guess you know I'm thankful for my family too. I was saying I was saying this due to stream related and online. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I love you guys out there. But you know, I got my family over here. Fuck you, <laughs> you. Uh, and of course, David here, being my friend. You know, we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for him and me, of course. I mean, like he does most of the work. I just sit here. But I mean, it was just like, you yes, know, it was originally some, my and, idea. And he got me into video. streaming and That's such, true. and into the Twitch and all that jazz. And we went hard. I also got him into basically online gaming because he didn't even play with me. I was so much happy. I was just thinking about that earlier this week and I'm like, shit, I'd be playing all these games, but nobody wants to play the game, the multiplayer games I want to play. What do you want to play? Borderlands 2. Uh, All of you have already, all of you have already played Borderlands 2. And like, I didn't have online friends for the longest time. I've still finished it. I need to finish it. We got really far. We got further than I've ever. So I'm like, I want to get back to it because I was having a great time with it. I was having having fun with it, but then I'm like, oh, you want to do Borderlands now? We're doing this, this, or this, or whatever. And I'm like, well, fuck. Come on, Kenneth. Play like just just buy all the game. Like for instance, right now I'm trying to figure out what to play. Yeah, everybody already owns it. What in Borderlands 2? Oh yeah. But just like for some reason, I don't know. Crucifix said he doesn't like find it enjoyable anymore. I don't, I don't know. I found it enjoyable for a while, and like it kind of teetered off there. But it's like with everything that I do. Like right now, I'm playing fucking Star Maid because you know voxel spaceships. I was trying to get high kick into it. We gotta get back into Star. Oh, high kick, talk about Don't Star. See, see, yeah, I'm, I'm exactly. gonna be against that. We gotta again. get back to Don't Star. I'm, yeah, gonna, be, I'm right gonna be against it again because everyone rage quit so hard last time, which was hilarious. Yeah, we did. We me. died, but we. I, no, 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 I was. I, I, <laughs> no, you, 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 I was. You up didn't. For it. Yeah, me, me, and you were the last two playing, and I was like, I, mean, it's I was just up for it to go stuff. back and just get back into it after we died. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, we but died. I was okay, like, we lost everybody, so it's time to leave. But no, like. Fucking high kick rage quit. Somebody else rage quit. Okay, bro, I don't have don't start. Oh, I don't have don't start. I like. It. I guess it means he do. He does have don't start. I don't know. I don't know, if he's I don't know what you meant there. Because if you do, you should join us for sure. We play with mods too. So like, if you figure out a modded character you want added to the server, yeah, it's pretty fun. It. Like I said, I mean, we can get into that. Yeah. I mean, like well, there's there's tons of things. Cause like BDO, I got into it, but I'm like, it's just not my kind of thing. Well, part of the BDO thing just, is there's nothing, there's nothing really fun. Running from quest to quest to quest yeah. Like, I don't need to grind. You know, if I need to go do something unproductive, I don't go fucking... Okay, you don't... You, you have Don't Starve. Yeah, you can eat this. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Don't Starve Together is pretty fun. Like I said, you know, if you ever, whatever, like, pay attention to, I guess, the at... And, well, not even at everyone pings, but some of the pings. Like, you're in our Discord server. Or the, um, or or the, PC, or the PC game. It's either in PC games or in servers. Usually yeah. whenever I do something. Something will be there. But yeah, and like soon, you know, we're starting up a my, we're probably starting up a Minecraft server for we're starting up high kick and all of them. Which let's get back into Minecraft for that that thing. Oh yeah, no, let's fucking take a big steamy dump on their chest. I yes, high kick, don't start together. Uh, yes, sure, we'll do some Minecraft. I mean, we'll get some things in. No, we gotta play Star Wars. I gotta show everyone the glory of spaceships and getting shit on in space. I love space. So games. I'm hearing Minecraft in the future. But Minecraft, no, well, Star Wars is Minecraft in space. Yeah, I already people, have to start up the yeah, damn Minecraft server. Yeah, but people have to own that game. I don't know how much it is. Cheap. There's a four pack for like thirty bucks. I guess it might be even on sale. Oh, yeah. oh, it's on like for me, it's on sale. But let's I see. Like because I own it. There's an update to the YouTube thing. Uh, Philly D says they're working on it. Who's that? Philly, Philly D. Philip DeFranco. Yeah, Philip DeFranco. I don't know. Again, I don't know these people. I don't watch. YouTube. Which it's ridiculous because Philip DeFranco has like a straight up straight line to YouTube. <laughs> Like, he's one of, like, five people and have, like, direct lines to YouTube. Felix, of course, has him. Philly, Philly D probably has him. I guess Keemstar has people he goes through to get to them. 
Like, almost nobody has direct lines to YouTube. You have to be... I'm sure Conan O'Brien probably has direct no, lines yeah. to YouTube. No, yeah, because Conan O'Brien is Conan O'Fucking Brian. He can blast you on fucking public, you know, TV, cable TV. The stream of this movie. Bro, so made was eh at best. They got money hungry. Yeah, it's on sale. It's on YouTube. It used to be free. It was free as a project, and then they made it, like, basically into Minecraft, where, like, you bought it... And then you could play it. You could still play it for free. Like, the older version is still free, kind of like Minecraft was. <clears throat> so, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm sure, because Bart, oh, you're, you're up forever, so I'll see you at <laughs> some point. Oh, actually, there's other. It says, uh, Philip the Frank goes up, my YouTube content is conducting the emergency off-hours team. My best guess is, before I hear back, is that the channel terminations are a mistake and not intended. Uh, channels affected are random... Are two random iDubs and Conan, as well as uh, Mr. Repsion. Yeah. But, you know, that's good that big name people were banned from this because, like, if it was a bunch of little scrub lights, it yeah, probably nobody would have been a big deal. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> and, and it's good on Philly D for covering this and getting his YouTube contact to fix the shit. Yep. But anyway. But, anyways, that's, I guess, enough for today. Um, yep. Like I said, uh, I guess. Can we do Minecraft uh, this evening? This evening? That requires me to boot up that server and actually give a damn. I mean, it's kind of cold, so it's doable now. The only reason I had not been up in the server is because, like, I had to keep the door closed for the cat. I'm probably still going to keep doing that. So it's cold as fuck. It, it should be okay. Your server's going to get killed with a cat here. Yeah, it'll be fine. The, the, the cat's brand new and doesn't have too much hair. It's like a medium hair cat. Yeah, it's fine. It will. It is. No, you have dogs in your house. Shut up, you. Oh, I, I, don't hate, I hate my fucking you. shitting, my shitting ass dog. Like I just got this brand new sweater, and I can't take shit out the goddamn bog or bag or box <laughs> without it getting a dog hair on it. And it's like, it's like I'm in a fucking clean room practically, and there's a goddamn dog hair. Barth, did you not see, see the cat? Like I had the cat in my hands for a while. Yeah, she's, yeah, the, she, she's running around somewhere. Mm, she'll probably show up on stream again at some point. Yeah. She likes to jump in my lap and sit in my lap. Well, if you go to the Discord, you can see a picture of her. Oh, yeah, I put her put a picture of her in the Discord. I'm going to upload another one right after this. Anyway. But, all right, so, so we're all thankful for things. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Thank you, Barnes, for coming and hanging out. Definitely and go check out our Discord, and we'll play some games and get some things going there. Yeah. And have a good time. Yep. So, so we'll see, see you guys probably within an hour or two as we go to you know the Walmart and go check out things and see what's going on. So have fun, everybody. We'll be back in just a little bit.